Hello. Hello, hello, hello. How's everybody doing today? Here, let me go ahead and move on over. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Ah! What's up? Who's ready for some, uh, Danganronpa? Don, dank, gank, grandpa. Here, let me scooch down a little bit, a little bit high up. I know, I'm ready. <clears throat> Hello. How you doing gaming? How you doing Noah? Do, 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 do. Ba, ba, ba. One sec, I gotta do the thing, cause you know, I gotta be first again. First again? Hmm? What you mean? First? I love Kirby music so much. It hit, it hit different, you know? Feel me. Ah. There we go. Oi. <sighs> Why'd that like actually scare me? <laughs> Straight up, that made me jump. Fucking A. <laughs> God damn it. Thank you for the bits again. You don't need to give me bits, man. Lord Gaming. Chill, you don't gotta give me bits, it's alright. But I mean, thank you so much. That's a thousand fifty bits. That's uh, I think that's like uh, I don't know how much money that is. I'm kind of in a little brain fart. On my way to get my own star panda. Long time no see, dude. Howdy doody. Gonna get your own star, huh? It's twenty dollars. Jesus. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to wait till. Let's see. When's my next payout? I might as well check, right? Cause I I got um. I already got a payout. La uh, it was uh, on the twelfth. Next payout is. December 12th. December 12th is the next payout for me. Gotta wait a whole ass month. Um. Pandy, you wanna get a- you wanna get a star, dude? You wanna get one of these? One of these little things? Big oof. Hey man! Um. That's- that's why a lot of people say instead of donations, you can give them tips, which is the whole, um, uh, where's Landon? Landon's here. He's over there. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Donations are definitely, like, straight up, like, donation donations. Those are a way more immediate way of giving me, uh, what's it? It's like, it's not money. There's a better word for it. It's like monetary 
support, I think. I'm not I'm not a wordsmith, I don't know, Jack. Da, 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 da. I wanna be a big cute star. Sounds just like a panda. Mal, what's up? I was actually already I had a water bottle in my hand open. How are you guys enjoying the music? Vibes. Pretty nice, yeah. Gimme? Give you a star? You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to pay for it, man. Uh, 35,000. What was I gonna do? Oh, that's right. Let me go ahead and start the game up, huh? Uh, video options. No, no, no. I want big gamepad, please. Uh, resolution. Okay. Uh, I forget if having the because I need to be able to read chat, so I think I'll make it so it's borderless, borderless, windowed. Uh, I don't know. I'll I'll just I'll just do what I did yesterday, and whatever happens happens. I have fifty thousand. Hey, that's not that bad. I'm gonna be lurking. Uh, to give you that extra view, I'm gonna just be watching YouTube lol. I'll be back in a bit. Alrighty, thank you so much. Uh, I honestly, I understand the whole lurking to give someone that extra view thing. A lot of the time I'm that guy. So, it's, it means a lot, uh, um, kind of having that come the other way, you know. And to everyone else who's, like, lurking in chat, thank you. It means a lot. Trying to trying to support me. Um, all right, let's continue. Oh, well, number one, let's go ahead and turn down the. Sorry, no more no more beautiful piano. I'm not a pianist, so let's go to that. Hello, I'm usually asleep when you're streaming. Oh, Dre, what's up, man? Long time no see. Yeah, a lot has changed, Dre. A lot has changed. How are you? My wife I cut out rise I said <laughs> Nice. You have to look stink. Thank you. I spent uh, I don't remember how much money. But a good bit. I'm good, I have a job now. Swag. I'm still I'm still streaming. You know me. There there's been times where I uh I kind of move out of the schedule, but, um, but yeah, I'm still streaming. I love how you guys can't see my eyes. <laughs> like, my actual eye, like, eyeballs. Because <laughs> they're, they're all over the place right now. Gotta love the, gotta love the vacant slots. Hi, Dre. Hi, Matt. Danny, what's up? Long time no see. How's the whole, uh, SMP thing going for you, huh? Oh, and Dre, what, what job? Like, you, you, what job did you get? That's interesting. Ba-ba-da-da. <laughs> Let's hope it's not loud again like it was last time. Oh, it's kind of loud. Ah, ah, skip, 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 skip. Alright, there we go. 
Wholesome guy. Yeah. Yeah, Danny. Uh, I work in an OP shop. I'm also studying certificates in business. Ooh. Business is always good. Business is always good. Which is exciting. I'm actually... I'm, I'm thinking about um, starting up going to online school again for uh, graphic design. You know, because it's good to have like a certificate or a degree or whatever. But yeah, that'll make get comfortable. Graphic design is pretty cool. Yeah, but it's kind of paycheck to paycheck. And that's kind of, you know, but it's whatever. Like, as long as I'm doing what I love. It's, it's fine for me. I'm a lurk. I'm busy with some homework. As always, Panda. As always. Hey, Panda, how's uh, Laza's streams been lately? Huh? I haven't been able to catch many of Laza's streams, and it makes me sad, because she's a, she's a really good streamer. She... Good she bullied me today. Uh. Well then. <laughs> um, should I do a recap of what happened last time? Or should are we fine? Like, I don't even know if there's much to recap, honestly. Just kind of, uh, we entered this school. Um, some shit went down. There's a bear... Also, yesterday we played on the Genshin house. Do you mean, do you mean Laza actually has a house in Genshin now? That's cool, that's exciting. Load game. Fuck it, let's just continue. Um, <clears throat> so basically, we made it through the prologue. Yes, it's small. Laza's house? I, I remember that first house you go to is big. Ah, uh, whatever. Um, I'm trying to think. Is there anything else I'm missing? Oh, um, a girl got murdered. Her name was, what was it? It was, I don't, the, the ultimate pop star. She fucking died did 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 did. Yes. Oh! Oh, I forgot. <laughs> and, uh, Junko died. She got impaled. Yeah, last stream was one hell of a fucking stream. I genuinely... Oh, I gently... I genuinely placed my hand. I gently placed my hand on Junko's lifeless body. I touched her wrist to check for a pulse. Oh, yeah, dude, check for a pulse. Check for a pulse. She's got fucking five spears in her. Check for a pulse. She really is dead. No shit. Um, oh, would you look at that? <laughs> uh, I forgot kind of the voices. I'm gonna have to, like, find them again. Uh, Bayak, Byakuya, Byakuya. Binoculars. I don't know why you even bothered to check after those injuries. Yeah, and losing that much blood. Frankly, I'd be shocked if she did survive something like that. Huh? H hold on. <laughs> Hold on, just wait a second. She's dead? Then that means... What? That means everything that's happened so far is real? It's no joke or whatever? It's totally real? Let me out of here! <laughs> Let me out of here! <laughs> Hell no, someone save me! Let me out of here! Somebody help me! What's your problem? <laughs> I will also be lurking. Enjoy your lurks! Enjoy your lurks, everyone. Panda... Get your, get your homework done. Drury. Oh, hey Drury, check this out. I made an emote. Big brain. <laughs> Big brain Matt. I love it. It's so stupid looking. <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell what it is if you're, if you have a small screen, but. Big brain, big brain. Big brain moment. Cause I, oh god, I have a lot of. 
big brain moments. <laughs> e uh, you're j just now accepting that? Alright, who do we... Uh, let's start from left to right, maybe? Oh, that's right, Y. Let's talk with Toko. She must be so shocked that she can't even open her mouth to talk. Uh, Hifumi. Hifumi? Consciousness has crashed. <laughs> Restarting now, please wait a moment. Ah, uh, yes. Totally normal things for a human to say. What should I do? Someone got... right in front of us, they... <laughs> okay, Sakura... Is any of this important? We can't run away from the situation, so we have no choice but to move forward. True. Uh... Do I talk to her? Hey. Hey. Hey, before we start searching for Sak- For Sayaka, yes, yeah, Sayaka, that's her name. Um, Sayaka is the ultimate pop star? And she was like flirting with me really hard, like last stream. And w we just woke up today to find her dead. In my room. In my- in my room she's dead. In- in my bathroom, I think. <clears throat> Which sounds weird out of context, but don't think about it like that. Searching for Sayaka's killer, we need to decide what about- What to do about securing the crime scene. What do you mean? Hm. You're thinking about putting someone on guard duty so nobody can disturb the area, aren't you? After all, if the culprit decides to destroy the evidence, we're pretty much screwed. Hey. 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 In that case, I don't mind doing it. I don't like- Having to think- <laughs> I don't like having to think anyway. <laughs> I'll let you guys figure it out who killed that chick. Mm. Nice. Good- good mindset. Good grind set, honestly. <laughs> I don't like thinking. You guys figure out who the fuck killed that chick. I don't know, we're that broad. <laughs> uh, okay, then we can- we can let Mondo look after the scene. <laughs> well, no. We can't just leave him there alone. What? What? Why the hell not? Stop talking. Isn't it- <laughs> Stop talking. <laughs> Isn't it obvious? If you were the culprit, what's the first thing you'd do? By volunteering for guard duty, you're in a position to destroy all the evidence you want. Yeah. What? Fuck you! <laughs> so Fuck you! <laughs> Fine then. I'll stay there on guard duty as well. That way there's no problem. Oh god, look at his face. In two-player co-op, base defense with the, with the two of them. Two-player co-op, base defense with two of them. With the two of them. With their stats, they're totally OP. Since we won't be able to help investigate, we're putting our faith in the rest of you. Uh, I'm still pretty freaked out, but I'll try. Okay. Uh, let's keep going left to right. Yasuhiro! I hate the ads. Yeah, I can't stop them though. If, if it was up to me, I'd literally make it so it's impossible. But every- like, it, it- that there's no ads. But every time I try to edit the ads to make it so there's less, they just keep- like, and I save my progress or whatever, I save my- my changes, it doesn't change. I don't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> Like, every time I try to change it. Come on, man! Let me out of here! Come on! Someone let me out! Oh, God. What about you, uh, Monto? Huh? Is this really hey, happening? Screw that piece of shit bear! Yeah, it's good, good, good mindset. What the heck? I hate this, but still, we don't have a choice. We have to figure out who did it. Or else we're all dead. Oh, that's right! Um... Manokuma, last time, he told us that if we don't figure out who killed, uh, Sayaka. Not Junko. Junko, like... What happened to Junko? She, she fucking... She got bum-rushed by, uh, Manokuma. The bear ran up to her, I think, and she, like, hit it. 
And that's one of the rules. Let me see if I can bring up the... Where's the... Here it is. No. Uh, here it is. Uh, regulations. Uh... Here it is. Violence against the Headmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited. Uh, as in... Oh. Yeah, it's just a regular So that's what happened. She hit him, so she got fucking deaded on sight. Uh... If I look down, by the way, if you see me look down, it's because I'm looking at the controller to find which button to press. Hmm. <laughs> deaded, yeah. <laughs> so you finally noticed. What the crap? What the crap? Huh? Notice what? <laughs> I was looking through the Monokuma file we received, and I noticed something very obvious and very unusual. Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> Go ahead, take a look. Notice anything interesting about where Sayaka died? She died in Makoto's room. Oh, I'm Makoto, by the way. I'm the main character. She died in Makoto's dorm. <laughs> What? She's right. <laughs> then could it be? All at once, everyone's gaze turned to me. H hold on a second, you've got it all wrong. F for just one night, I I traded rooms with her. I did it because she was afraid. <laughs> what the heck? What the heck? Y you expect us to b believe that? Just tell us the t truth. The look in everyone's eyes had, had done a complete 180 from just a few minutes earlier, the feeling of suspicious and f suspicion and fear had returned. In other words, y you think I did it? So then, are we all done talking? We need to bring our s we need to begin our investigation soon. As th at this point, we should split up. We need to get to the we need to get to the bottom of this and find out who killed Sayaka. We'll have to collect clues from the who. Okay, so this is, uh, Kyoko. We don't know what her ultimate is. Is she, like, the ultimate leader or some shit? We'll have to collect clues from... We have to collect clues to form a foundation, then construct an argument to find a final... To come to a final decision. God damn, my dyslexia is... Uh, making it so hard for me to read. <laughs> if we get this wrong... So... Well... Do I really have to say any more? I'd rather you didn't know. Goodbye. Everyone, pray for good luck. Oh, damn. With that, Kyoko hurried out of the gym. Goodbye. I'll be going too. Cool. Just like that, Kyoko... He was gone before he realized it. Oh, and just like Kyoko, he was gone before yeah. he realized it. So... Someone murdered Sayaka, and if we don't find who murdered Sayaka, we die. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm on guard duty, huh? I guess I'd better head to the scene of the crime. Oh, that's right. Hey, damn it. Let me just say this right now. If whatever son of a bitch did this is here right now, and they're thinking of destroying that evidence, they better not let me find him. I'll skip the trial and cave their goddamn skull in myself. I'm serious. I will fuck them up. <laughs> I'll fuck them up. Letting his dead oh, letting his deadly words hang in the air, he and Sakura ran off. But I mean, we're not detectives or anything, you know? And we're and we're going to investigate a murder? How do we even do something like that? Anyway. Anyway. I keep forgetting her voice. We don't r really have anything in p particular. Oh, we don't really have to do anything in p particular. We already know who c killed Sayaka. <laughs> you fucking bitch. What are you implying? This is very it, suspicious. it was you. I'm telling you it wasn't me. D don't come any c closer. Are you g gonna kill me next? So, um... God. Well, well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to give, to give it a shot. It's not for sure that Makoto's guilty yet. True. Um... 
That's true. Oh god damn it. Don't repeat after me. That's true. We may as well at least check just to... We, we mel- we may as well check. We mel- we may as well at least check just to check. What are these sentences? <laughs> They're making my brain hurt. Even if I w wanted to, I c couldn't help investigate. Aww. Wait, why not? I'm not g good with b blood. All it takes is one glimpse and I b black out. Oh yeah. Well, whatever. I don't think anyone was expecting much from you anyway. All right, I guess I better get going. But wait, don't go yet. You have to hear me out. But it was pointless. Everyone had already left. And their parting looks at me had still been filled with suspicion. Does everyone really think I'm the killer? How did it turn out like this? Seriously, you've got it all wrong. <laughs> why, do you, why do they have to suspect me? I have to do something. Otherwise, everyone will. Execution is... Execution. Oh yeah. Execution. Talking about if uh, they vote the wrong person out, they all die. Electric chair. Poison gas. <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane. Paper plane in a hurricane. I can't let that happen. I can't let things turn out the way Monokuma wants. All I have to do is find out who really did it. Who killed Sayaka. Investigate, okay. I guess I should look through the Monokuma file we got before. The victim was Sayaka Miyazono. The time of death was estimated to be around 1.30 a.m. The body was discovered in Makoto's room in the dormitory. All evidence suggests that the death took place in the bathroom. The cause of death was a stab wound to the abdomen, where also an inj- Oh, there was also an injury on her right wrist. Specifically, the wrist appears to have suffered a fracture. S fracture. So she was like hit. Oh, and bro, I, I just remembered the sight. Like, my room looks fucked up. Like, there's like slash marks everywhere and like a katana. So there was definitely a struggle. We had no choice but to push forward if we want to find out what happened. Somehow I have to find out the truth. So that we can all survive. And for Sayaka. I have to find out <laughs> how she was killed. Monokuma file number one has been added to the truth bullets section of your handbook. Truth bullets. Hello. Aren't you gonna help investigate, Chihiro? Um, but but I can't leave Junko here. I I feel sorry for her. I I have to stay with her. Okay. And hero? Ugh, oh, no way, I seriously don't want to die here. I'm begging you, God, Buddha, Mother Earth, God of Space, King Neptune, help me. I don't care who it is, just get me out of here. Hero doesn't seem to be prepared to do anything, oh, any kind of investigating right now. He doesn't seem like the investigate type anyway. Still the same, yeah. Still the same bullshit. Uh, anything else? Uh... Nah. I guess we're good. Yes. I guess we just go to uh, my room, yeah? Exit. First of all, I should head to the scene of the crime. My room. We won't make any progress without investigating there. True. Oh shit, fast travel? So I headed to my room, where Sayaka's corpse still remained. Oh god. Yeah, it's crazy in here. I better examine the state of my room a little closer. That might reveal something new. That there was a goddamn fucking, like, brawl? Uh, let's look at the bed. There are gouges in the bed. Like someone attacked it. What the hell happened here? Oh, I got the katana or whatever. This is... 
the replica sword I brought back for self-defense. Does this mean it was used in the attack somehow? I mean, obviously, dude, there's sword slashes everywhere. And plus, it's been taken out of its sheath. Yep. I hadn't actually looked at the blade itself till now. I shouldn't be surprised, but it's coated in gold too. It's all flaky. On top of that, some of the gold coating has come off in parts of the blade and the handle. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, the handle especially, it's missing lots of its coating. I remember the coating sticks to you, even if you just touched it a little bit. Yeah, that's right! Whenever we first picked up the the, the blade, or whatever, the, the sword, it got gold all over our hands from the shitty painting. Replica sword, yeah, 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 yeah. I got my, got my keys to my room. There's a key on the ground, it has my name on it. This must be my room key. If I remember correctly. Oh, there's Sayaka. Oh, she's so cute. What was your voice? Oh, that's right. We'll have to trade room. Oh, we'll have to trade keys. Yep. When we switch rooms, we switch keys too. So Sayaka would have had the key here in my room the entire time. But wait. If that's true then, how did the killer get into the room in the first place? Could Sayaka have forgotten to lock the door? No, that seems impossible. The same goes for you the same goes for you, Sayaka. No matter who it is, don't open their door for anyone. Even if I'm sure it's you, I won't I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? True. After saying that, there's no way she would have forgotten to lock it. Or what hap or it happened for any reason. Well, maybe she dropped the key somewhere and somebody also grabbed it or something? No, it was literally super late at night. No, that's not possible either. Siaka was in here when she switched rooms. Yeah, with how scared she was, she would have... Oh, she wouldn't have gone walking around, so she couldn't have dropped it. So how did the killer... Switching rooms has been added to the truth bullets. Okay. Oh my god, there's so much shit here. Uh, let me look in the cabinet. Make sure everything's still safe. Toolkits in the drawer, don't see anything at all. Which makes sense, I guess. I mean, it's mine, and I haven't any reason to open it. I didn't even imagine it. Oh, I can't even imagine a situation where I'd need a toolkit like this. Yo. Yeah, seriously. Oh, Mondo. Why? We ain't exactly in the mood to be building a fucking, f building fucking furniture, right? So haven't you? So you haven't used yours either, then? Why? Not just me. Why? Nobody's busted into there. Nobody's busted theirs out yet, as far as I know. Actually, we were talking about it yesterday. By the way. None of the guys have opened their toolkits yet, cause like, why the hell would we? Yeah. Smart, I guess. Got a lint roller? Still there? Huh? Looking at the lint roller, it looks like there's way less than there was before. Oh, somebody tried to clean up their hair or crumbs or something? Did Sayaka see how dirty my room was and decide to clean it up a little? <laughs> no, dumbass. It was definitely like a murder or something, right? These are scratches and grooves under the walls and bed. Is that evidence of a struggle? Yes! Like, by the books, evidence of a struggle. It looks like there must have been some kind of fight in my room. Oh, really genius. Damn it! I was right there in the other room! If only I'd heard something. Wait. That would not have been possible. Huh? huh? Don't you remember? All of our rooms are completely soundproof. So something could happen in the room right next to you. And there's no way you'd know. Perhaps this was another of Monokuma's st strategies, creating an ideal setting for murder. I mean, yeah. Uh, I got the case or whatever, the sheath. This is the replica sword I brought back for the self- yep. It's gonna use an attack somehow. And plus, the sword's been taken out of its sheath, but... Huh? There's some scratches on the sheath. 
They must have been made with something sharp. But how? Oh, but how'd the sheath get scratched up in the first place? What the fuck? Even if someone used the sword during the struggle, it doesn't make sense for the sheath to be damaged. Yeah. The sword is in the sheath. Why would the sheath be damaged? <gasps> oh, did they take... Did they take the sword out of the sheath and then, like, Sayaka used the sheath as, like, defense against the sword? Dude, that's fucked up. I mean, if you're gonna attack someone with a sword, the first thing you do is unsheath it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A heavy sheath like this would only get in the way. It could just slide off in the middle of the fight. <laughs> what? So why are the scratches on the sheath? Obviously because Sayaka, Sayaka was using it for defense, right? Big brain. I already checked the bed. I already checked this. What's this? <gasps> it's the thing. It's the stand for the sword. It's the display stand for the sword. Oh, there's nothing there. Hi, Sayaka. Sayaka, do you think I'm guilty too? I try not to make assumptions like that. I simply don't underst- Oh, I simply don't know whether or not you did this. Hmm. Whatever decision the rest of you come up with, I will follow your lead. I see. Mondo? You know, I realized something while I was on guard duty. The killer could have already destroyed some evidence, right? Before anyone found the body, I mean. There's a trash room here in the dorms, right? They could have tossed some stuff in there. Yeah, that's definitely possible. You son of a bitch. That dirty bastard! <laughs> Anyone who raises their hand to a woman is scum that deserves death. That's what my brother taught me. You're fucking dead. So if I ever find some <laughs> so if I ever find the son of a bitch that did this, I'm gonna pound his goddamn face in. God. But but what if a girl <laughs> what if it was a girl that did it? Yo. That'll get sorted out when the time comes. <laughs> I see. More scratches on the wall. And... Looks like there must have been some kind of fight in my room. Soundproof, blah 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 blah. Oh shit! Yo, 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 trash room. Yeah, am I right, bro? Yeah, trash room. You're fucking dead. You're fucking dead. Okay. Mondas says it's these hands for men. <laughs> Mini, ah, oh, Laza, how are you? Laza Bell, how are you? Here, let me give you some, give you some, uh, Las Caroons and Matsicles. I'm playing Danganronpa. New emote, yes, there is a new emote. It's a big brain. Big brain emote. Yes, yes, yes. So, um,. There has been a murder in my room, Laza. Laza, if you're afraid of gore, I'd say look away. Hey, Kyoko. I quietly- uh, Hey, Kyoko. I quietly called her name while she was investigating the area. But... Oh. What are you doing? Oh, look at her. Dude, she's so cute, bro. What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? No. Not really. I'm searching. <gasps> searching for D's? These nuts. Searching. Bum, 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 bum. She was down on her knees, carefully inspecting every inch of the room. Did you lose a contact or something? Ah, <clears throat> oh, damn it! I skipped a, some text. I don't know what she was doing exactly, but she seems to be concentrating pretty hard on it. But a few seconds later, she suddenly stood up straight and said. Listen. Are you a clean? Are you a clean freak? Huh? N no, I don't think so. But what? Nodding, she glanced around my room one more time. Interesting. What's interesting? Hey. Hey, look, it's my wife Ukiri Giri. Danny, no spoilers. <laughs> she's really cute, though. I gotta say, damn, she's 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 a hottie bobody. Me and her have similar ties. I like it. Just as I suspect, 
there's something very unusual about your room. What's so unusual? Unusual? What do you mean? So... I've searched your floor from the... From one corner to another. And I didn't find one single strand of hair. Really? Indeed. Not one hair from the victim, and not one hair from you. Even though you've been living in here. Oh, for like one night, dude, what? Oh no, it's been like two nights. Yeah, that'd be, that's pretty weird then. You know... You know, now that you mention it, I did notice something while looking around. It looked like the lint roller in my room had been used, but I never touched it. I guess, could someone have used it too? Very interesting. Your room didn't have a single hair in it, and someone had used your lint roller without your knowledge. In other words, someone other than you came in and scrubbed your room clean. Was it Sayaka or the killer? Well. That's the question, isn't it? We gotta figure it out. It's Makoto's room's cleanness. Let's go ahead and... Alright, Laza, if you don't like... If anybody in chat doesn't like gore, get ready to see a lot of pink, I guess. The bathroom. And the other side of the door. Of this door. No. I can't let it get to me. I can't afford to freeze up now. Forcing myself... To push my panic down, I stepped into the bathroom. Oh, it's Sayaka. She's so cute. Why does she have to die? <sighs> Looking at her made it painfully clear it wasn't a dream or an illusion. She had lost everything that made her her. Sayaka. <laughs> Dude! Dree's playing crab game. <laughs> Sayaka. <laughs> All at once was... <laughs> Hello, I'm playing crab game. <laughs> All at once, I was overcome with dizziness, nausea, and the urge to burst into tears. But I can't. I can't hesitate now. Why? Why did why did Sayaka have to die? I have to uncover the truth. I have to find out what happened. I wanted to give up. I wanted to collapse, but that thought in my ha that thought held me, held me up and supported me. Oh, uh, uh, God, it's so creepy. All right, let's. I guess there's a lot of blood. I told myself I simply couldn't face what I saw, but but now's not the time to think like that. I pulled out the monocum file to verify what it said about her body. Some sort of sharp object had been thrust into her stomach. That must have killed her. Oh, that must have been the killing blow. But whatever they used to kill her, where'd they get it? A uh, kitchen, obviously. A knife, duh. That's definitely something I should look into later. Yeah. Also, according to the Monokuma files, Sayaka's right wrist is broken. Oh. Her right, her right, her wrist does look swollen and bloody, that's for sure. But there's something sort of glittery on there. It's the thing from the sword. Right there. Where her wrist is all swollen. There's something glittery. That definitely concerns me. Another thing that concerns me is... Huh? There's some blood on her left index finger. But that's it. The palms of both of her hands are totally spotless. So how come only her left finger... And why is there so much blood behind her? I don't get it. Sayaka's wrist. The stab wound in her stomach is what killed her, so sh when she broke her wrist, that must have happened earlier on. Yeah, un unless somebody was just a douche and wanted to mess with the body. I mean, how would her wrist get broken after she'd already been killed? Yeah. So it's pretty possible Oh, so it's very possible she broke her wrist during the struggle. The killer attacked Sayaka in the main room, which is where she got her wrist broken. After that, the killer con oh, cornered her in the bathroom, where they inflicted oh, where they inflicted the deadly wound. Okay, so uh, let me think. Now's the perfect time to take a shit. Just, you know, it's real, real respectful. 
Oh, you shower. The water for the showers gets turned off at nighttime. Okay. Man, look at her legs. Jeez. Poor girl. Um, so my bathroom, it, it, it gets stuck because the, the door doesn't fit. So it acts like it's locked. And it's fucking busted wide open. So I guess... Oh... Oh... Big brain. Big brain idea. She was holding the knife. Sayaka was holding the knife for self-defense. Because I, I think she said that she found the kitchen. So maybe she grabbed the knife for self-defense. And she was using it against the attacker. Yeah, that's why there's there's chips everywhere and, and the glitter. And whenever the attacker busted open the bathroom door, she accidentally stabbed herself. Right? Like, that makes sense. Oh, what do I check here? This? Oh, what the fuck? Should write down some numbers? I look past Sayaka to the wall behind her. One one zero three seven. Written in blood were the numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did Sayaka did Sayaka do this? Is there anything else to check? I guess not. Let's just leave. Um It looks like you found it, right, Makoto? The bloody numbers, that's most likely Sayaka's dying message. Uh... Dying message? What do you mean by dying message? So... It's something a victim writes before they die. Usually as a, Usually as a way to tell people who killed them. Really? But generally, whoever writes it doesn't make it totally obvious. They'll either write it somewhere the killer would notice, or write it out in a code or something. Wow, that's pretty incredible. Hey. Have you ever heard of Illery Queen? Who? <sighs> Illery Queen these nuts. Ugh, never mind. Um, is there anything else here? Here, I'll talk to her again, maybe. You saw the bloody numbers in the bathroom, right? Just bloody numbers. I've never seen something written in blood before. It was really her final message. It's as if she wrote it with with life itself. Right. That's weird to think about. Do you often talk like an aspiring poet? <laughs> Fucking roasted. But the numbers she wrote, what do they mean? One one zero three seven. I have no idea what that could possibly mean. So... The, the way she wrote the numbers makes it makes me think she wanted to use her body to block them. If she wrote them in that location while she was sitting by the... Oh, by the way we found her, it means she must have... She must have wrote them by turning only her hand toward the wall. Yes? If you were to write something in that position, do you know what the result would be? The result? Well, Think about it. You're not gonna tell me? Makoto. You need to uncover the mystery of this case yourself. Otherwise, the case will end and you'll remain unconvinced. I have no idea what you're trying to say, but it's obvious you're not gonna tell me. Oh! She wrote Leon! <laughs> she wrote the fucking name of the guy who killed her. It's Leon. L E O N. It's just upside down. Oh, that makes sense. She's not smart enough to fucking write numbers and shit the way that somebody would be looking at it. She wrote it the way she was looking at it. Ah. It sounds like Kyoko knows what Sayaka's dying message means. But honestly, I have no idea. Oh. I know what I should- t I know who I should talk to. When it comes to numbers, you'll better to ask them the ultimate programmer. True. 
There's no other thing. Oh, there's one other thing I wanted to ask you about. Do you know how your door in the bathroom got broken? Uh, well, it's been broken, kind of. Broken? Oh, you mean how it gets stuck? What? Gets stuck? Yeah, I guess I'm the only one. But the door doesn't fit the frame quite right. Uh, when I first tried to use it, I thought it was locked. But once you learn the trick, it opens with no problem. Oh... And that's... Okay, so we told Sayaka about the trick. So, if the killer is Leon... Leon would see Sayaka in the room, right? And then think that this is a girl's room. And then think that it was locked and then break it in, right? Or bust it open? Right? Correct. So the door doesn't quite fit the frame, huh? But actually, I'm referring to the broken doorknob. Huh? <laughs> oh my god. Both me and Makoto just said ha huh, at the same time. It just looks to me like the door's broken. Like, look at it. It's all fucked up. Oh, and I thought I, I thought it opened the other way. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Because who has a walk-in fucking... That, never mind. Huh? The doorknob? That's right. You didn't even... <laughs> you didn't notice? Well, just try closing the bathroom door. I'm sure you'll see right away what I'm talking about. I did what Kyoko said and shut the bathroom door. Huh? The doorknob? Yeah, look at it, it's all fucking wonky. What the heck? The doorknob practically about fell off. Dude, I remember one time I was trying to leave my, my bedroom and my doorknob fucking fell off. I was like, oh, what the? This is so bullshit. I just screw it back on. Why is it like this? Oh, dude. Makoto, you're a fucking idiot. Are you really asking why is it like this whenever your room's covered in fucking samurai sword like slashes? Someone must have used. Uh, what? Someone must have used a screwdriver or something similar to unscrew it. Whatever it was, it's obvious it was intentional. Oh, I thought he just, like, kicked it open or some shit. What? It was intentional? Why would someone want to do that? So... Oh, I don't know. Maybe fucking somebody locked themselves in the bathroom, idiot. I guess maybe they were trying to get the door unlocked and ended up breaking the whole thing. <laughs> My bathroom doesn't have a lock on it. Only the girls' bathrooms can lock, right? She stood there for a while, lost in thought. Then apparently struck with a sudden realization, she shot a question at me. Just a second. I have just one more question for you. You mentioned earlier that your bathroom door would get stuck, right? Did you tell anyone about that? Um... Well, I did tell Sayaka about it last night when we switched rooms. So what you're saying is only you and Sayaka knew about it. Mm hmm? Hmm, interesting. She had the slightest hint of a smirk on her face. I got the sense that she was really starting to get into all this. I see. Then it's- then that clears that up. Huh? What clears what up? I'm so lost. Goodbye. Well, see you later. Okay, bye, Kyoko. See ya. See ya. As if forgetting I was ever even there, she suddenly turned and left the room. Okay. Uh, I still don't really understand any of this, but... I've already given my room a good once-over. Maybe I should look around somewhere else? I should start looking into where the murder weapon might have come from. And also... I should look into the DVD Sayaka got. Oh, true. With Sayaka dead, I have no choice but to see for myself what was in that video. And on top of that... I'm sure there were some other areas worth checking out too. Maybe I should see what everyone else thinks, if they'll even talk to me, that is. We already talked to both of them. Let's just head out. Okay, so... Mont- oh, Holy- uh, Dude, we're so tiny. We're a dick height with, like, everyone. Bye, Yakuya! Very strange. So why was Sayaka in your room when she was killed? Could it be you are the culprit? No, you've got it all wrong. Sayaka and I switched rooms last night. 
He didn't even try to hide the suspicion on his face. <laughs> even if what you say is the absolute truth, you're still responsible for her death, wouldn't you say? Huh? After all, she wouldn't have died if she hadn't switched rooms with you, right? <laughs> the only reason Sarika was killed is because I suggested we switch rooms? She's dead because of me? Then it should have been me that died. <laughs> well, all we can say right now is that it's a possibility. Th that's... If that's really true, then I... Man, you're, you're a fucking douche. Wait, what the fuck? Whoa. What? Wait, I don't... Whatever. Leon! Leon, dude. Something doesn't seem right. The Monokuma file said Sayaka was killed in your room. I just can't stop thinking about it. Could it be the nameplate? Wait, I was just saying... I was just thinking about that too! Because it says this is my room, and that this is her room. But it's not. Huh? This is definitely my room, but the nameplate says Sayaka's name on it. And this one says my name on it. Huh, this is Sayaka's room, right? But it says the nameplate is mine. The nameplates on my room and Sayaka's room were switched? So all the effort I put into switching rooms without anyone knowing was totally pointless. But why would anyone do that? You know, I don't like Byakuya. He's kind of a dick. Dude, I've only known him for like three days and he's kind of been a dick. <laughs> Dorm nameplates. What's the point of this shit? Who the fuck switched the names? So, so, what? So Sayaka... They did go into Sayaka's room. Well, what they thought was Sayaka. Oh... That makes more sense of why that they thought the door was locked. Oh, oh, I'm piecing it together, buddy. Ultimate detective mm -hmm. over here. Ultimate big brain. I get to finally use the big brain. Big brain. <laughs> hum, 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 very strange. Mr. Nayagi. What was Miss Maizono doing in your room? Let me just say this. I absolutely will not allow you to dispose of any evidence in the trash room. Do you really think I'm that guilty? My god, I'm tired. I'll take a nap. Take a nap, Danny. Use me as some good ASMR for you while you sleep. What was I supposed to do? Oh yeah, I was gonna go into her room, aka my room, and get her DVD. Or her, her uh, CD. They keep saying DVD and CD, and they're, they're like mixing it up. It's like pissing me off. Alright, let me grab that CD. See, that's not a DVD. Wait. Because DVDs are. Uh, whatever. Sorry, Siaka. I need to borrow this DVD. Alright. We got the DVD now. We can go watch the video. Matt, have you seen the anime of Danganronpa? No, I pretty much haven't seen anything of Danganronpa, really. And I wish to keep it like that, because I, I really love the idea of it so far. I like the music. Yo, it's, um, what's his name? Kiyotaka. Kiyotaka. Listen to me! Whoa, listen to me. Do you have a second, Makoto? I've uncovered something most unusual. The door to everyone's room... What? The door to everyone's dorm has been... Has a nameplate on it. Show whose rooms... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hear me? Bro, when you finish the game, I recommend it. Left me speechless. Okay. Well, it just so happens... Wait, no, no, no. You must be the killer yourself. I can't tell you anything. Forget everything I just said. Forget, 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 beam! Sorry, just a little joke. 
I even do jokes sometimes. Ha ha ha. Yeah, already. Uh, eyebrows. He does have really pretty eyebrows. But they connect to his like head though. Anywho, we already learned about the nameplate thing, so we're good. I like how the game like keeps trying to like subtly hint to you about stuff. Uh, even though this is pretty obvious. Uh, here we go. Let's watch that DVD. Matt, your eyebrows are the best. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I should be able to use this to see what's on the DVD. Sayaka threw in the garbage. Okay. Oh, there she is. An image slowly appeared. It looked like some kind of concert. And on and standing on stage front of a, front and center was a face I recognized all too well. Look at all these cuties. I will say the one on the right though is kind of looking a bit uh, janky. I don't know. <laughs> BRB. I'm gonna make a G fuel. Make some of that vanilla whatever G fuel. Sayaka. She was there along with the friends. She, sh she said she had. Oh, she said had been so important to her. Um, it's not that one. It's a new one. What, well, tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. She was positively glowing there in front of the crowd, so full of life. Seeing that image made it harder to accept. Except she was dead. Pixels, aka twi Twitch flavor. What does it taste like? What is it like? Uh, passion fruit or something? Like grapefruit? My vision started to blur and darken, and then that voice had come so I came to despise so much began to float out of the speakers. For these girls, the glowing spotlight only made them that much more beautiful. But then... But then... Suddenly the screen went black, or screen went dark, and then the next moment, I saw something I could hardly believe. It's like raspberry. Ooh, raspberry. Oh! Oh, that's so creepy. They're not even, like, dead. They're just, like, unconscious. I like raspberry. Raspberry's yummy. What the? Sayaka and ha had disappeared from the stage, which was now in ruins. But what I noticed even more than that was the figures of the other girls who had all simply collapsed. Yeah, see, they're fine. They're just, like, knocked out, right? I'll send you a picture of it once made. Okay. None of them will Form on stage again. None of them will ever feel the warmth of the spotlight. Jesus. For Sayaka, there's simply nowhere for her to return to. So here's they look a fine, though. Question. What oh what could have caused the group to go to pieces? But they're not dead. They're just like laying down. They're just like uh, knocked out or some shit. They're they're fine. Look for the answer after graduation. Oh, by the way, for those who don't remember, my uh, DVD, or, you know, those who weren't there last stream, my DVD had my family on it, and they were, like, happy I was getting into Hope's Peak. Uh, th this place that we're in right now, this building is Hope's Peak Academy, by the way. This place that's supposed to hold, like, the, the brightest of the bright, the coolest of the cool, like, the ultimate whatevers. And mine just had my family, like, disappear on it. Without warning, the video cut off. What? What the hell? That wasn't real, right? They're a super famous pop group. Everyone knows who they are. He's just trying to say that he was able to get to them? If that really did happen, everyone on the outside must have gone crazy. What kind of person would take things this far? He just pops up. Hey, it's me, Monokuma! I'm the one who takes things this far! Don't fucking test me, bitch. I will kill your mom. <laughs> I'll find your mom and I'll kill her. Have we ever gone in here? 1B. Ooh. This board belongs to... Uh Hi, Toko. Uh no, 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 no. I want to do this. We got... There's a clock on the wall... Cameras. Oh, nice. 
TV. Oh, wait, 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 wait. These are, like, different things from before. Whoever's behind this must be using these cameras to observe our investigation. To force us into a situation like this. What the hell do they want from us? Maybe it's, like, it's just, it's just good shit, I guess. They just, like, they're, they're getting their willies off, you know? Do a little bit of that. Finding clues is way more important than this monitor right now. Ugh. Oh, yeah, the walls. Or, uh, windows, I guess. I don't have time to worry about th this metal plate now. If I don't find some clues... Hi, Toko. T to kill someone just to save your own life. And I've been living with someone like that? I think I might vomit. But what is Monoc- But what- But what is- uh, But is what Monocom has said really true? Did someone really kill Sayaka? <laughs> if the m mastermind really was gonna get involved, they w wouldn't have just killed- Oh. They would have just killed us on day one. That's a good point. By the way, how's your investigation going? I've already t told you, I don't do blood. So I don't... I don't plan on t doing any investigating. B besides, I already know who d did it. This is very suspicious. After all, where was Sayaka killed? In y your room, right? W what more proof do we need? We already know the tr truth. She really doesn't trust me at all. Cool, 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 cool. Yes, let me leave. Uh, do we need to check this room? Might as well. Maybe there's some sort of clues or something. Uh, this is the desk that I woke it up with whenever I got here. It's a little pamphlet. There isn't anything that might help solve the case. Um, these are all the same, yes. Da, 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 da. Oi! Okay, so I guess I can just keep getting nice tokens for clicking on shit. So I guess every room I come into, I might as well just hit everything. Dude, I'm loving this fucking music. Okay, Despair Hotel? Um, where do I need to go? Oh, where's the trash at? People- Yeah, there it is, trash room. Out of my way, bitches. Out of my way. Little baby boy coming through, Makoto. Here it is, trash. <laughs> I like how all the little things like scurry away back there. Is that how I entered? Sorry for the yawn. What is this? Um, it looks like some kind of switch. I wonder what it does. Okay. Uh, what's this? There's a hatch on the floor. Rattle, rattle, rattle. It won't. The door won't budge. It must be locked. Yeah, it's got a lock on it, dingus. There's a sturdy gate here. No way to get past. Boy! It's the end of the line. The trash room. This is where all the trash in the school gets event. Oh, trash in the school eventually winds up. How'd you get the gate? Oh, how do you get this gate open? No, no, you can't go any further. No, no, no. No entry beyond this point. The only person on cleaning duty- Oh, only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in. C cleaning duty. No, no, you can't go any further. No, no, no. No entry beyond this point. Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in. Who's on cleaning duty? No, no, you can't go any further. Cleaning duty. This is stupid. It'd be faster if I just go around and ask the no, others. No, you can't go any further. Shut up, Monokuma. So I guess there's some Monokumas that are just, like, broken robots that just clatter, 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 just say whatever the fuck. 
Uh, time to go ask who's on cleaning duty. Sent the picture. Okay, let me check. I know you sent it over Discord. Oh, it looks yum. Sorry, I'm just like bopping to the music. Oh, oh who's oofing? <laughs> Danny. Bum, bum, bum. It's just a red. Looks looks good. Ooh, what's this like fake, fake backgrounds out here? More bolted bullshit. How come the bolts are all yellow? Looks all rusted and fucked up. Hello. Are you the trash man? Um, I'm looking for whoever's on cleaning duty. Cleaning duty? As a matter of fact, that's me. Why do you ask? It just so happens Monokuma talked to me yesterday and asked me to take care of it. Without someone on cleaning duty, the school would be flooded with trash in no time. Uh, I also saw there's a new flavor getting released soon. Ooh, nice. I'm not really big on uh, yeah. G Fuel. I'd like to be, though. G Fuel seems cool. Simper Panda. Yeah. Cute. So I formally obliged for the position. Mm. I was going to start this morning, but after what happened, I haven't had a chance to get started. And since you're on cleaning duty, you can open the gate from the trash room, right? Here we go. Radioactive lemonade, aka the motherfucking Spider-Man flavor. Ooh, radioactive lemonade sounds yummy. I like radioactive things. Of course! It's my job to gather up all the garbage and toss it into the trash room. And to do that, they gave me a key for the trash room gate. Mm -hmm. But we're supposed to rotate once a week, so eventually you'll be in charge. Very strange. Wait, hold on. You need a key to get into the trash room? And the only person on cleaning duty, and only the person on cleaning duty has access to the key? What's the point of going going to all that trouble? Why not just leave the trash room open all the time so we can all throw things out whenever we want? That does seem more convenient. So in other words, actually, anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate unless they're discovered. So that's it. That must be why. If anyone could just go in and go out of the trash room whenever they wanted, then destroying evidence would be easy. The thrill would disappear and things would become boring. B boring? Hey, listen. Anyway, more important than that. Hey, you bastard. hey fatty, why'd you, why'd you want the cleaning gig anyway? Oh, um... I decided to volunteer for something I knew no one else would want to do. What's the big deal? You... Liar! I know what you did. Oh, I know why you did it. Is it like... You want to dig through all the girls' trash, looking for, you know, and poking around at it. There's no way to think about this in a common sense kind of way. What are you, what are you talking about? All my love is for 2D. You know what I mean. But there's all kinds of tr trash diggers like that. Maybe you'll get tired of 2D and then turn to. <laughs> I would never get tired of 2D. After spending a significant amount of time comparing 2D and 3D, I voluntarily choose 2D. The only thing 3D is good good for is to shower love and affection on 2D. Oh, and PVC figures. Give me a break. How are you not totally embarrassing stuff like that? If you're worried about Hifumi's questionable morality, there's a very easy solution. Whenever a guy has cleaning duty, Sakura can accompany them before picking up the trash and to disposing. Oh, disposing of it. That man has a jar, many jars. What? What? If you're as honest as you claim, where's the harm in it? <laughs> That's not how it's supposed to. <laughs> 
Yeah, what if what if we have Sakura come with you? Or Sakura. Hmm? Hmm? You gonna ruin your 2D loving now? Anyway, on another topic, Hifumi, since you were cleaning since you were on cleaning duty, I have a favor to ask you. What, so you suddenly wanna join my party? Sorry, but you haven't triggered that flag yet. I mean, you haven't helped me recover from the past trauma. From a past trauma, or save a village, or beat a boss. No, nothing like that. I just was hoping to get the trash room. Oh, tra hoping to get into the trash room and look around. Oh, okay. So easy. <laughs> so Fumi and I headed down to the trash room. You'd like me to open the gate, wouldn't you? <laughs> you know, when I look at it, it makes me think. They say he killed his wife. He learned how to get by on the inside, but he never stopped dreaming. Get busy living or get busy dying, he said. So, is that a... Is that a Shawshank Redemption reference? What? So him and Rita, they found themselves a way out. What the fuck is... What are you going on? <laughs> Whatever, please, just hurry up. Okie dokie, leave it to me. <laughs> is that a Shawshank reference? Redemption reference? If Umi pulled the key out of his pocket and used it to flip the switch on the gate. And then... Ah! Mr. Naegi. However, Mr. Naegi. Surely you aren't planning to use the trash room to destroy evidence, are you? Y you fiend! You planned this all along! No. I just wanted to see if the actual killer had tried to destroy any evidence or not. But the actual killer is you, isn't it? You want to see if you had left anything behind. But wait, maybe a parallel world? Huh? Whatever, let's just hurry up and keep looking. You know what this background reminds me of? It reminds me of like an old 2000s uh, Thomas the Tank Engine game. Oh, puberty. Thomas the Tank Engine game I had uh, on my computer. Or on my brother's computer, I think. What the fuck is this shit? Oh, there's a bloody uh, piece of clothing. There are shards of broken glass scattered around in front of the incinerator. It looks like it was used in some kind of glass ball. <gasps> glass ball? Uh, just about big enough to fit in the palm of your hand. Is this yeah? Is that? Do you know what that is? Mm -hmm. They say if you collect all seven, a dragon will appear and grant you a single wish. <laughs> Thank you, Hifumi, for making a Dragon Ball reference, you fuck. Mm. <laughs> Kidding aside, uh, that's the kind of thing you might see in a big city street corner. Gaze into it and it will show you a glimpse of the future. Just like that Mina girl who is... What? Mina girl who was on the quest to find that one guy. Huh? I don't... Okay, I don't get that reference. Yeah, I get what you're trying to say, but who did this particular ball belong to? The only per... Oh! Uh, they, sh they should all go... Oh, they should all still be in the gym. I better go figure out for sure. Uh, it's a hero, because hero's the ultimate, um, clairvoyant, right? We got a little, it's got blood on it, a little blood cloth. There's something on the ground in front of the incinerator. It looks like a burnt piece of something. Clothing. A burnt piece? Like a hunk? Like a hunk of burning in love? Shut up. <laughs> anyway, this is... It looks like a piece of cloth, and that's shape. It's part of a sleeve of a button-up shirt. Uh-oh. They're, they're gonna learn that I killed Sayaka. They're gonna find out eventually. They're gonna find out eventually. And now it looks like it definitely had blood on it. Oh! It, that's definitely blood on the cuff, which means... This is all that's left from some of the evidence the killer destroyed. But there are lots of people in here with white button-up shirts. This isn't enough by itself to figure out who the killer is. Okay, well, like, let's big brain. She wrote Leon. Does Leon have a white button-up shirt? 
Because if that is, then we just found our killer, basically. Uh, this is the incinerator. That's why the back part in the trash room. Yep, yep, yep. It's got... It's a good 30 feet from here to the gate. Jesus. Ah, and it's on right now. Do you see the green and yellow buttons next to the mouth of the incinerator? Yes, indeed. It's a perfectly simple setup. You press the green button to get it going, and then the yellow to turn it off. Sooner or later, you'll be on cleaning duty, so uh, make sure to learn all this before you leave. Okay. <laughs> Someone turned the incinerator on. Very strange. I'm quite certain it was off last time I was down here. Was it a fairy? Perhaps it was the work of a fairy? Hifumi, oh, Hifumi, do you realize what you just said? Huh? <laughs> the fairy? No. You said that the last time you were here, the incinerator was off. <laughs> ah, yes. About that, there, about that, there can be no mistake. If, if I've gotten one thing going for me, it's my memory. I feel as if. I feel as if. Yesterday, as soon as I was appointed, I came down to the, to check the pill, the place out. It definitely wasn't on then. I haven't been back to the trash room since then. And since I'm the only one who has the key to open the gate... It should be impossible for the incinerator to be on, and yet... So that means someone was able to switch the incinerator without opening the gate. How is that possible? This whole thing is quite strange indeed. When I was here last, the incinerator was off! And those glass shards and burnt clothes weren't... What does it all mean, Mr. Nayagi? Will you be able to conf Oh, will you be confessing soon? W why me? Everyone always already knows you did it. All the mysteries of are being solved one by one. It sounds like he's living out some, uh, living out one of his comic book fantasies. Here, let me actually turn it off. The green button turns it on, the yellow button turns it off. Or it seems, anyway. Anything else to check? Huh? There's something behind him? Yeah, this thing. Oh, this is the trash, right? That's a huge trash can. Is that where we're supposed to put whatever trash we can't burn? Well, whatever it is, it doesn't look like it's hiding any clues. Nice. Uh, let's talk to him one last time. Mm -hmm. Mr. Nayagi, you seem a little down. Huh? Really? <laughs> if you need help lifting up your spirits, call on me anytime. Come on, come on. Uh, I've got all kinds of sm uh, uh, stuff that might help cheer you up. <laughs> oh. Hi, Danny. Hi, Danny. Hi, Danny. How are you? He's fucking. He's he's gagging for it. Sir? He's talking about smut. Energized. As always. Uh, where's he? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Heroes in the, uh... Uh... What's it? The gym. Gym. This way. Right. <clears throat> where's everyone else? Like, where's, like, um... Where's Celeste? And, um... Hina? Or, uh... Aoi. I, I forgot her name. Storm? <clears throat> oh! I do have some of those turn dial thingies. Maybe I can get, uh... Get some cool stuff here? Give it a shot. Might as well. I got, a uh, seven coins now. But uh, give me something good. Oh, red vest. More good stuff, please. Oh, cute! It's like a little amiibo. I bet uh, 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 the the big guy'd like that. Was it a croissant? What was his name? Hime, Hima, the fat guy. I was just talking to him. Oh, Crystal Skull Vodka. Crystal Head Vodka?
Ah, we already had that before. It's a little, little, uh, vest thingy. Or, uh, uh um, suitcase. Another crystal head vodka, dude. I'm getting shit luck. Huh? Just kidding, I'm actually lucky. Yay! Another thing I got before. God damn it. I guess I am super unlucky. I'm the ultimate unlucky best. Oh, cute. It's a little radio. And I got lucky again. Please be something new. Oh! It's fucking worm on a string. Worm on a string. Anything new here? Okay, let's leave. Worm on a string. I love worm on a string. Hello, I wasn't behind you or anything. Don't you love how you're at dick height? Not actually, uh, Taka. Not actually. That's not the right way. Wait, is this the right way? No. The... No, it is this way. God, God, God. Turning is so slow in this game. I wish I could just turn left or right and go forward and backward at the same time and not have these stupid tank controls. Alright, somebody in here? No. Let's go talk to... Uh... Shuri... Chihiro. Hey, Chihiro, I was hoping I could uh, ask you something. Huh? Uh, what is it? Before she died, uh, Saka left a message. She wrote down the numbers 11037. Uh, Do you have any idea what those numbers might mean? Like, uh, could it be a code or something? Um, sorry, no. Shihiro slowly shook her head. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I just don't know. Oh, okay. Well, uh, don't worry about it. Thanks for trying. Even she doesn't know. Or, could she maybe know more than she's letting on? Nah, couldn't be. Well, if you think about it in, like, leet speak, L... So that'd be 11037. That could be... That could be, um... 3 is E. 7 is L. And O is obviously O. So you could, if you if you were to go leet speak, it literally could be Leon, just spelt backwards. You can connect the the ones, the zero, the O, and then the E for three, and then L for seven. They just spell Leon again. Hey hero, uh, can I ask you something? Ugh, no, 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 I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out now. I've had enough. <laughs> gotta break free. I've got to break free. Hero, snap out of it. Um. <clears throat> huh, Makoto? What are you doing here? What? Hey, um, does this look familiar? <gasps> That's my crystal ball. But it's all smashed. What the hell? I, I only just bought it because the guy said it was blessed. He, he said it was unbreakable. So how did it break? It was actually just made of some glass? N not crystal? Did that guy totally dupe me? He said it belonged to the pillars of history. Genghis Khan, George Washington, <laughs> Napoleon. He said whoever controlled that crystal ball controlled the world. Was that to was that seriously all BS? Um, let's put that aside for now. Uh, so can you say without a doubt that this belonged to you? Um, yeah, that's mine for sure. I probably forgot it in the laundry room last night. Someone must have came by and snatched it. You left it in the laundry room? That means anyone could have just found it and taken it. W what even- what? I see why you failed high school now. Why the fuck do you bring a crystal ball into the laundry room with you? What, did you fucking get shit on it? Thanks, hero. That's all I want to know. Um, Sh sure. Uh, by the way, I'm almost uh, afraid to ask, but how much did you pay for that thing? Uh, Everything I saved up from fortune telling for two full years. It came out to be like a million. 
A million? That's pretty cheap, actually. I mean, consider it, it gives you the power to control the world. That's just... Too. Too stupid. I can't- I can't even feel bad for him. Honestly. What a dumbass. Paid a million fucking dollars for a stupid glass ball. Um, so next we're gonna go to the laundry room. Laundry room. Laundry room. I remember where it's at now. Gotta love these tank controls. Oh, I got some Discord messages. Oh, whoa! Oh, whoa. Whoa! Whoa, keyboard and mouse is way better at this. Why is the controller so janky with it? The fuck? Okay, let me uh, hop back into the game, minimize. Can I, like, change the way that controls in the settings, maybe? Uh. Oh, here's... Here's the system settings. Uh, I'll save the game. Why not? Boop. Options. Uh, control... Bob, no. No Bob. Thank you. Ooh! Ooh! Oh, baby! Oh, that's some good shit right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Ooh, yeah. The good movement. <laughs> okay. Whoa, dude. Wait, what? Oh, no. It's a magazine of Junko. It's a washing machine. A washing machine has nothing to do with the case. Yeah, but look at the fucking magazine, dickhead. There's a magazine laying on... Laying around, no help there. It's Junko's fucking face. How's that not like she literally just died? Do you have nothing to say about that? Watch right now. A lot of mess around. <laughs> There's a swimming suit hanging out to dry. But that has nothing to do with what we're doing. There's a lot of just random ass clothes up here. Ooh, what's this? A little uh, coffee machine? Oh no, that's one of those clothes vending machines. Ah, strange. I've only heard about those in Japan. Apparently those are a thing. But don't, bro, why can I check each one individually? Why is this a thing? Flash machine, there's nothing to do with the case. Oh, I got a coin though. This is the one checked before. Okay. Now nah, we're good. Let's get out of here. I guess the fact Hero left his fucking glass ball in the in the uh what's it? In the laundry room means nothing. Is this a woman's restroom? Oh, wait, what the fuck? Why is the women's restroom red and the men's gray, not blue? That's strange. Uh, what should I do? Oh, I thought that the knife came from the kitchen. Maybe that's a good idea. Let's go check the kitchen, see if they're missing a knife. Because, I mean, where else would you get a knife in a school, right? <gasps> hey, it's a uh, Aoi. Hina. Are you investigating the dining hall? Uh, oh no, I'm just taking a break actually. I've been uh, taking a break since we started. This is all a first for me, you know? I don't have the first clue of what I should be doing. I know what you mean. <laughs> I don't know why, but doing the dining hall- Oh, but being in the dining hall helps me be calm. Oh, helps me keep calm. So, I don't know. Oh, So, I know I shouldn't, but I've been kind of- Hanging out here. To tell the truth, I was doing the same thing last night when Sayaka was killed. Ex 
Excuse me. Dude. You're telling me you weren't in your room last night? We made like a promise, Hina, that we were all supposed to be in our rooms at night. And you, you're just straight up telling me that you weren't in your room last night? Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm keeping an eye on you. <clears throat> Maybe, you know what? Maybe it was Hina. And she took... She took... Uh, Sayaka's hand. After she had died. And wrote... With her finger... Leon's name. Nah. Honestly, I don't think Hina's that smart. I don't think Hina's smart enough to do that. <gasps> the knives. They're all kind of kitchen knives here. Big and small, but... It looks like one of them is missing. One of the bigger ones, too. Was it missing from the beginning, or... I better see if anyone here knows about it. Kitchen knife set. Uh, what all is here? A bunch of food? Oh my god, that's so much food. A bunch of ve vegetables all piled up. I don't see anything noteworthy about any of it. Um, camera again. See if there's- oh! Knowing Monokuma. Surveillance camera in the kitchen too! Knowing Monokuma could be watching me, there's no way I can concentrate on cooking anything. Oh my god, there's so many frying pans and things. Pots and- Oh, ham? Yummy. Oh, and fish too! Marbled meats! Salted meats! Now's no time to think about food. Or is there? There's always time to think about food. This is one of the monitors Monokuma appears on. They even put them in the kitchen. Ah. Okay, well I guess that's it, huh? Let's get the fuck out of here. Where the hell's Celeste? Is it just me or is she like the only one who's missing? Alright, well bye Hina. What do I do now? Found a knife. Do I go back and talk to, uh, what's your name? Kyoko? Oh, that's right, she left. Oh, well, I guess I'll just talk to Mondo. Hey, bud. By the way. You know, I realized something while I was on guard. Howdy, just checking back in, lurking the whole time. Yo, what's up, gaming? I've, uh, I've, I've been just doing some exploration. Uh, learning some shit. Uh, don't know what to do next. I've kind of... I think I've kind of been everywhere. I think at least. I, I checked the trash. I've, I've been just doing research. I'm just, you know, looking at hints and things, trying to find clues. Hey, Leon. Wait a second. Yeah, Leon doesn't have a button-up shirt. So I guess it's not... Maybe, wait. He has, like, a button-up jacket. Hey, Leon. Seems like... Something doesn't seem right. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, the nameplates are fucked. Um... Would you count that as a button-up shirt? I think, you know, I think they're trying to stage Leon. That's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking of here. How you doing, Byakuya? Byakuya, yeah. Very strange. So someone she was killed, it's just the same shit. Hm. Huh? Yeah, 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 we already- Yeah, I know, he's trying to make me feel bad, but no, it's- It's whatever. They- they switched the nameplates, so it doesn't have anything to do with me. Uh, Toko, Chihiro- Celeste! Where the fuck is Celeste at? This is Celeste's room. Celeste is like the one person I haven't seen yet. Um, is there a place I haven't checked out? I've, I've been in the laundry room. Can't go into the bath. Guess I'll check out here, huh? Kitchen, already checked in the kitchen. <clears throat> it's 
store. Uh, there's nobody over there. What if I check the just the opening, huh? It's less than here. She is. What the fuck are you doing in here, you weirdo? So, uh, do you have any clues or anything? What kind of clues? Let us agree. Let us just agree we do not know who the culprit is and leave it at that. Whatever secrets I may have, I do not intend on revealing anything until the class trial. Okay. Okay then, do you have any suggestions uh, for where I should start looking? Well. Uh, so annoying. Must you fumble around finish- oh, fishing blindly for clues? Mm -hmm. <sighs> I suppose it wouldn't hurt to give you a little hint. The scene of the crime, naturally. Uh, but I think the trash room is also worth looking into. The trash room? It's the perfect place to destroy evidence. However, there is one little problem. Which is? As for me. <clears throat> that place is filthy. I would rather die than set foot in there. <laughs> I am trusting all of you to conduct a thorough investigation on my behalf. I got new shoes! Yay! I'm happy that you got new shoes, Rose. New shoes are sick. That that's <laughs> What a what a bitch. Looks like some kind of mailbox, something in it. Got some low top little white low top Adidas. Nice. I like me some Adidas. <clears throat> I wanted them because they're fitting for my retro outfits. Classy. What do I do? I feel like I've been everywhere. Should I hit the help button? Map indicator running. You know, 80s style. Yeah. Oops, wrong button. Uh, truth bullets. God, there's a lot. Crystal ball, we already talked to Hero. Burnt shirt. Well, we can't do anything with that. Incinerator, we already looked at the incinerator. Trash duty. Uh, nameplates were switched. Bathroom doorknob, yeah, we already know about that. Bathroom door frame. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Idea. What if we go back to the crime scene? And I wonder if, uh... Wait. I just want to check in here. Just real quick. I want to see if maybe... Uh, Kirigiri came in here. No. Okay. Well, um... Should we check this door? I mean, I don't know what else. Rattle rattle, still locked. Dude, I can't wait until just one time I turn around real slowly. There's just a fucking monster and I die. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shit my pants once that happens. Uh, so we don't need to go back to the kitchen, I don't think. Here, you know what, fuck it. Let me check the bathrooms. Why, might as well. This is the girls' bathroom. Obviously, I can't go in. Okay, what about the men's bathroom? Uh, I also got a Tom Nook's stuffy and a, uh, Isabel stuffy. Cute! What do we got here? Fish? A fish tank. There's a bunch of little fish swimming around inside. I can't imagine how this can be anything to do with the case. Cute. I, I still have my uh, Tom Nook stuffed animal. I love it to death. Well, this is cool. It's a nice little bathroom, I guess. Um, I guess maybe I'll go back into the trash room. See if there's anything to do there. Oh, maybe uh, Kirigiri's in here. Or Kyoko. Hmm, Mr. Nagi. You seem a little down. Nah, don't talk to me about your smut. Ooh, the latch, maybe. No. Uh, let me check down here. It's 
sorry, I got a text. Bum, bum, bum. What does this do? Phew, so is that everything? Clothes. <laughs> Clothes what you open. Put away what you take out. Sleep after you eat. Take care of what you buy. <laughs> Keep that. Oh, I just didn't click on everything in the room. I'm a fucking idiot. So this is obviously the story progression. I just, I just uh, left the trash room without leaving. <laughs> Keep that little gung-ho attitude in mind. Oh, keep that gung-ho attitude in mind, but we still gotta do the actual legwork, right? One of those things he said was definitely not like the others. Um, is there anything here I missed? Ooh, the, the fact that it's open now. Thanks to Hifumi's help, I was able to get inside. Hifumi, that's his name. Okay, I mean, I guess let's just leave, right? What am I missing? I feel so stupid. Uh, Leon's room. Oh, ooh, ooh. maybe if we can uh, check inside of Hira's room. Nah. Leon. What am I missing? Oopsies. Uh, map. Nah. We got an exclamation point there, and an exclamation point. Three. Sayaka's room. The dining hall. Oh, shit. I fucking fast traveled without even meaning to. Alright, here, let me, uh, take a look around. For some reason, it doesn't show... Huh? Oh, Jim! That's right, there in the gym. Oh, wait. Oh, that's the zoom quality, okay. So... Oh! I'm a fucking idiot! I didn't look in Sayaka's room! I was only looking in my room. Cause this one... This one's my room, but just with Sayaka's name on it. This one is... No, that one was my room, but with Sayaka's name on it. This one's Sayaka's room. With God, I fucking I flipped myself all around. All right, I'm so dumb. Okay, Sayaka. No, it can't be. Huh? That's true. The sewing kit and the organ map. No useful clues. Uh, Sayaka. No, I can't let myself get depressed again. I need to search for clues. Nothing here. Oh, what if I search her bathroom? Nope. Uh, let's look, 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 look. Uh, nothing important here, right? Borrow the DVD. Uh, camera, maybe. I mean, there's nothing here. I feel like this was gonna be the big breakthrough, but I'm stupid again. I'm not big brain, I'm stupid again. I do. Hmm. Talk. Oh God, Biaki, uh, stay the fuck away from me. So talking to either of these two dip dipshits doesn't help. Um. All right, back to lurking. I can't stay for the actual entire stream, but I've been busy. I have to stream open the background though. See ya. See ya. See ya, gaming. See ya, low gamer. Sorry, it took me so long to read that. Here, I'll check the kitchen again. Maybe no, there's nobody over there. Except for Hina. I'm I'm always so confused whenever it comes to talking to people again. Oh wait, that's right! Hina said that she was in the kitchen. Or she said that she was in the dining table last night. She would have seen if somebody Oh I missed it! That's the thing. That's I'm a fucking idiot. I haven't worn my low-top shoes in literal decades. All of my shoes are high tops. All of my shoes are shoes. Just regular shoes. I I looked at the knives, and I said, like, uh, Makoto said to himself, Oh, I need to ask people about the knives. I didn't ask fucking Aoi about it. I'm a goddamn idiot. Hey, so did you notice that one of the kitchen knives was missing in the dining hall? Yeah, totally. 
I just have high tops from Eaglesfield unprotected. Yeah, honestly, I wear a lot of high tops, I guess, because my ankles, they get chafed all the time whenever I don't. Yeah, weird, huh? Oh, yeah, weird, huh? I thought it was kind of strange, a knife suddenly disappearing like that. I got weak ankles. I just don't like mine getting fucking, like, the skin peeling on them. Oh, so it wasn't missing from the beginning? That's right. Nope. Last I remember, they were all lined up in a nice, neat row. So when did you notice one of them had disappeared? Well... Well, when I got... Uh... Well, when I went to go get some tea from the kitchen last night, all the knives were still there. But then, when I finished my tea, I went back to the kitchen to wash my glass. One of the knives was gone. And you're saying the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining hall. Mm. Yeah. In other words, you were right there in the dining hall when somebody come in, came in and took it. She took the knife. She, I stole the knife. She took the knife. <laughs> then you should be able to say for sure. Can you tell everyone that I didn't come to the dining hall last night? Which proves that I didn't take it. Hi, Danny. Hi, Laza. Laza. Laza Bill. I always account. Uh, well, then who was it? Hello, Eeyore. Hey, by the way, did you really kill Sayaka? No. What, what of course not. I would never. I, I loved her, dude. I had a big old fat crush on her. Hina, do you really think I murdered her? Well, she was killed in your room, right? So, I mean... You guys were supposed to be friends, right? But you... Still... Uh, but you still killed her. On the other hand, two people becoming good friends, then one killing the other is a classic drama setup. So when you consider everything together... Aww. I honestly have no idea. Yeah, Rose got some new... Got some new shoes, some new Adidas. I'm jealous. I, I haven't had new shoes in like three years. Three years plus. I've been just using the same pair of Vans. Shoes. Nice. Uh, we love some new kicks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, I have no idea. Laza, good morning. It's still 7 a.m. for you. How are you up so early, Laza? Have you been drinking some tea? Drinking some, uh, tea. My bad. Drinking some coffee? Ding bong. Ding dong, bing bong. I guess that's it. Are we done with the investigation or whatever? Um, so, uh, I'm getting tired of waiting. What say we just get started, hmm? <laughs> Okay. It's time for the long-awaited flat trial! Now then, allow me to appoint a proper location for the proceedings. Okay. Please go through the red door on the first floor of oh, the school. The, uh, that almost rhymed. The big <laughs> fucking red See doors. You See you soon. The red door on the first floor. That's where I should go. No, where I have to go. So creepy. It's fucking. Hey guys, you're late, Makoto. We've all been waiting for you. Like two seconds late, bro. <laughs> I bet you were afraid you'd be discovered as the murderer you are. Listen to me. Let's not jump to conclusions just yet. Save that for the class trial. We, <laughs> there we can all reveal the details from Makoto's crimes. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bro. So they really are convinced I did it, but... Oh, I didn't do it. Me and Siaka both know that, both know that all too well. But then, who is the killer? Uh, well, okay, bro, she literally, like, spelled his name. Unless, did you, s like, the DM I sent you, Matt? I told you, Danny, I don't get, like, uh, I don't get, uh, Discord notifications. Oh, he sent me a picture of, uh, Monokuma dancing. There we go. 
I'm really bad at typing. <laughs> Alright. But then, who is the killer? She literally spelled Leon. Unless, like, somebody forced her hand to write Leon. Then the one who murdered- the one who murdered Sayaka. Is it really one of us? Yes. It is, I know it is. Or it has to be, I guess. Is everyone here? Okay, then. Let's go. Please board the elevator in front of you, which will transport you to the courtroom. Courtroom. Where all your fates will be decided. <laughs> I'll meet you all down there. I'll be waiting. Okay. Let's hop in the elevator, I guess. Uh, should I talk to people? Was there really any point? Can't think about- oh, yeah, I can't think about all this bullshit. A surveillance camera. I can't waste time on this right now. Oh, come on, bud. Relax. I haven't decided 100% that you're the culprit just yet. Maybe, but you're obviously leaning that way. What about you, Kyoko? Let's get started. Okay, fuck it, let's go. I guess I have no choice but to get in the elevator. Let us begin. Yes, Good idea. Hey. Are you scared? No, scared isn't quite right. I said it before. I'm hungry? Get some food. Go get some food, Rose. Don't make me offer you DoorDash again. Reread. Reread what? You said that you're hungry and I tell you go get food. Reread. Bro, I offered you DoorDash. Yeah, and I offered you back whenever you said that you were hungry. I never said hungry. I know, whatever. Hungy. I'm hungy. Blah, blah, blah. Does it really make a difference? I said it before, but it's up to you to uncover the mysteries surrounding this case yourself. That's me? Shish, sure, I'll get you both DoorDash, even though Scotland doesn't have it. Or, Scotland doesn't use it. Dude, Danny, you don't even keep your money. You keep always using your money on, on, on dumb shit like donations and shit. You know, you know damn well, you know damn well, Danny, that I'm willing to spend that money. I donated Danny $118 one time, just because I felt like it. I'm already ordering Jimmy John's. Fuck yeah. You better get a yummy, yummy sub sandwich with some fucking oatmeal raisin cookie. Or in like a Powerade or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the kids drink nowadays. You tried to help me get web shooters. Yes, I did. If you don't, you'll never come to grips with the truth. Number 12, beach sub. I always get the turkey tom, because I'm a fucking... I'm a, I'm a plain bitch. I need to uncover the truth of Sayaka's death. I didn't need someone else to tell me what to- Oh, I didn't need someone else to tell me to do that. In Sayaka's honor. I swear I'll find out who the real killer is! Turkey, provolone, tomato, lettuce, and avocado. Mmm, sounds yummy. Yummy, yummy, I want a piece. Maybe I'll get some food after this. I feel like Eeyore is gonna kill me after my next comment. Then don't make it. Well, what is it? As I raise my voice to try to get, to try and give myself courage, I turned, I turned trembling with anticipation towards the elevator. Anticipation. The spacing between the letters keeps fucking me up. I've never had Jimmy John's. It's pretty good. Jimmy John's is just yummy. Okay, I will say a lot of people think that they taste like a lot more bland than something like Subway or something, but that's just because people aren't ordering the right thing. They aren't getting the, like, the right condiments and things. Everyone's been blessed with Jimmy John's foot-long sub in their mouth. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and plus, they just like don't have things like that in fucking Scotland. I mean, not everywhere in fucking America has a Wawa or like a fucking, um... What's it? Like, Schlotzkis? That's a poor choice of words. No, 
Rose did that on purpose. She likes getting you to think that. And also, why are you thinking about that, Danny? Gross. With each step forward, I could feel my heart starting to race faster and faster. Everyone was already in the elevator. When I finally stepped on, the doors closed and the elevator started to move. Good. Order that shit. The steel box descended with the heavy clunking sounds towards the school's basement. Every word I say is pre-calculated. I mean, of course, whenever it's in text. Not whenever you actually say it in person, though, Rose, is it? The steel box... Yeah, 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 I've already read this. I wonder if this is how a death row inmate feels when this time finally comes. Oh. Oh. Rather than that... It is more- it is no more like a defiant- what? Like a definite- Defent waiting- Oh, defendant waiting to be- oh. Bro, I need to- Okay, let me wipe my eyes. My- my- my eye holes. Rather than that, it is not- It is not more like a defendant waiting to receive his judgment? God, God, Celeste, stop, stop having your sentences be so goddamn complex. I think too fast when I talk verbally, honestly, same. When I type, I can think better, same. We know my affinity with writing words. You know my real badness at speaking. Listen, man, leave me alone, my wife hasn't be- I'm not finishing that. Gross, Danny, gross. Stop, ew. You're talking about a Kyoko too. Real badness at speaking and at typing. Yeah, I'm real bad at speaking and typing. I'm trying my hardest though. I'm not gonna let dyslexia, dysgraphia, and goddamn my my dumbass stop me. Obvious to our shared anxiety, the elevator lowered us further and further into the bowels of the school. How huge how big is this school? Ooh, this place is pretty. Yo ho ho ho. Oh shit, this is Monokuma. Yo ho ho! You finally arrived! What do you think? Doesn't it feel like a real cart. courtroom? I almost read this cartoon. There's only one correct pronunciation of Jimmy John's. <laughs> Gimme Gones. <laughs> Jimmy Jones? I would like Jimmy Jones. It's like a Hollywood movie set, right? Not even close, it's total shit. Well, now. Okay, okay, everyone find your assigned seats and sit down. Yahoo! Hurry up now, hurry up. Hmm. I puffed my vape and burned my nose, sheer pain, ouchie. That's how it said, ow, Danny, I'm so sorry. Yeah, honestly, Danny. Uh, Rose does the same thing every time I accidentally make her laugh while she's puffing her vape. Puffing. It happens, it happens. Uh, we did what he said and found our seats. Oh my god, they have little signposts of the dead people. The seats were arranged in a giant circle. Wait, what seats? These aren't even seats, they're just like podiums. It was set up so that everyone could see everyone else. Uh, which also meant it'd be easy for anyone to transfer their tension and unease onto anyone else. Oh, it's because there's no juice left on fucking big brain. Mm, yes. Yo. Yo. Big brain? Big brain? <laughs> the air seemed to grow heavy as we sat there. Coil pops are the worst. Pop, pop, pop. pop. Ooh, yeah, big brain. It's new. Yeah. New emo. New emo, homie. I literally, I wrote, uh, wrote it. I made it right before the starting stream. Just because I, I like it. Agreed. Ooh, why do you have this one? You have small brain. Shut up, Rose. I'll give you small brain. And so, the curtain on our first case opened. A dead... A deadly judgment. A deadly deception. A deadly betrayal. What? Don't think about it too hard. 
A deadly riddle, a deadly defense, a deadly faith? What is, what? what? A deadly class trial! God damn, Hifomi's, Hifomi? <laughs> Hifumi is huge. Uh, save data, please. Yes, yes, yes. What the fuck is this? I feel like I should get a new flavor soon, even though I like the one I have. Hey, man. Uh, it's always good to try new things, especially when it comes to yummy flavors of uh, vapes and e cig. Never mind. I can't say that. <laughs> I stopped myself. Bro, when you get tired of certain flavors super quickly. Um, I don't know. I, I always like getting, like, at least... Whatever comes to flavors of things, like water bottles or, I don't know, just anything. I like to get like three, so I can kind of rotate. Set skills. What is this? Ew, flavored water. Well, I mean, I'm talking about like Gatorade or like, you know, something dumb. Because I, I don't like, like, eh, my favorite flavor is orange and I'm just going to always drink orange. It's like, no, you gotta get like, you know, is Gatorade... Just flavored water? No, it's like... Hi- uh, what's the word? It's, um... Electrolyte water. <laughs> I like my cola slush. It was good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry to like booty. Uh, melodious voice. Increase damage to the opponents when a statement is destroyed. Effect during the bullet... I don't know what this is. Whatever. Oh, that's a skill that I got for being friends with Sayaka. Oh, okay. Open e-handbook. Uh, I, I don't know what to do. Let's just start, right? Oh, wait. There's uh, words at the bottom. Let me read those real quick. Come on. What's this class trial that Monokuma mentioned. Can Makoto sweep away the cloud of suspicion surrounding him? Even with a dead body laying in his bathroom. <laughs> G2 Glacier Freeze the little ones that are low sugar. Honestly, I'm a I'm a bitch. I like fucking just whatever. I like I like the blue Gatorade. <laughs> I like big flavor, big big yum. It's so so good. Light blue. Yeah yeah yeah. I mean I don't know. I like all Gatorade flavors. There hasn't really been one that I don't like. Oh, just kidding. There is one. It's like. Pineapple something. It was like a white color. It, I didn't like it at all. Explanation of the class trial. Oh. So your votes will determine the results. Please try the one I said. It's so worth. Okay. I will, Rose. I'll try it and I'll tell you what I think about it. I think. I mean, I've had it before, probably, but I just, you know, probably don't drink it, it all the time. What are the wise? Do you feel th then have a puff? Bad idea. It tastes awful. I mean, it's like mixing fucking orange juice with toothpaste. If you can figure out who done it, I fucking love pineapple flavor. Not the Gatorade. I don't know. Maybe it was like a mix or something. But if you pick the wrong one, I drank it all throughout high school because they sold good for your health shit. Uh, I would always just come to high school and get like Arizona, Arizona iced teas and things and like Snapples and uh, just generic water bottles. That's That was what I always did. I mean... I didn't really need the sugar. Um, okay, figure out who done it, and only they receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and the one that deceived yeah, everyone Gatorade. else will graduate. Okay, so if we fuck this up, we're all gonna die, and the fucking the the person who the murderer or whatever, they're gonna graduate and leave. They don't have the same powdery texture as most Gatorade does. I've never had a Gatorade and have it taste powdery. Like an actual, like, bottled Gatorade? Never. Maybe, like, if it's the actual Gatorade powder or whatever, like the shit that you put into water, yeah. Maybe it tastes powdery? But I've never, I've never had 
the powder problem. I always mix it well enough, I guess. And the killer really is one of us, right? <laughs> Makoto, what a goddamn good question. Is there really an answer to this? Is there really a pointness? The weird thickness of just Gatorade out of the bottle. Uh, I need you to like explain it better than that, because I don't know. It just tastes like just a you know drink to me. Yeah, no shit, Makoto. I sure hope that there is a fucking murderer here, because if there isn't, then what the fuck? Also, Sayaka literally spelled out Leon's name. So I don't know. Maybe that's just like it, right? Of course. Everyone, close your eyes. And whoever did it, raise your hand. <laughs> oh my god. Taka, you're a fucking... Oh god, I thought Makoto was an idiot. Uh, two days and I'm gonna be in Florida. Nice. It's got like a dry feeling on the tongue. Like a... Like the weird... I don't know. Why eyebrows shaking like that? Um... He's got a case of the jitters. <laughs> Look at him over there. <laughs> like wearing a G2 Glacier Freeze is like how I imagine drinking car oil is. I have no idea. I, I need to I need to fucking try it, bro. I got no clue what you're talking about. I think literally just every like drink tastes smooth. Yeah, no, what, Eeyore, you're right. <laughs> I think... Ah, uh, whatever. Don't be a goddamn idiot. Oh, shit. Why the hell would they raise their hand? I mean, and what's the point of that anyway? Like, Monokuma already... He has the surveillance footage. He knows who the actual murderer is. I'm, a uh, Lurking between drinking and sleep. Baby. <laughs> Baby. Laza, you being a baby? You drinking milk and sleeping? <laughs> Alright, well, I hope you're enjoying your lurk. I hope uh, whenever things get intense during the class trial that it's not too much for your little baby ears. Do you have work today, Laza? Because if you do, eh. I don't know. Keep an eye on that clock, you know? It's only 7.20 a.m. for you. Before we move on and start the trial... Can I ask a question real quick? Uh, sure. No, I don't work. Okay, good. What's going on with those pictures? It's the people who are dead. I feel awful if they got left out just baby. because they died. <laughs> baby, Friendship baby, Lazabel. Even death's barrier. Ugh, God, don't say it like that, creep. Friendship penetrates even death's barrier. Friendship. Hey, Fumi, I will slit your wrists. Okay, but what about that other NPC? What the fuck is that accent? Whoa, what, is, what the hell? What is she, like, Puerto Rican? There were only 15 of us to oh, no. With, so That's not Puerto Rican. That's like a weird, like, she's trying to be, like, English. Oh, no reason. It's just that our little courtroom here can technically fit up to 16 people. Oh, 16 people. Okay, that about does it for the preamble. Get ready to get started. Okay. First up is the case summary. Now, let the class trial begin. All right, so case summary, right? Just, that's easy. Uh, it's about to begin. The debate to decide who we think the killer is. Anything I found, anything I noticed, I have to be ready to speak up about everything. Because this isn't just about me. Everyone's lives are on the line. Our first non-stop debate is about to begin. Would you like to hear more? Yes! As things progress during each class trial, you will engage in a number, a number of non-stop debates. During these discussions, characters will speak one after another without pause. It's up to you to unearth any lies or contradictions buried within their statements. Uh, what this means is that you'll need to use your truth bullets to refuse what they say. Or refute what they say. 
any relevant truth bullets you've found during your investigation will be located uh, will be loaded into the truth cylinder. <sighs> okay, <laughs> use the left stick to aim and then fire with the Y button. Pay close attention to each character's statements and then use your truth bullets to blast the right ones. Note that if you run out of time, you will automatically fail, so please be careful. Uh, if you press the start button during the statements, you can review the controls. Well then, good luck and have fun! Whoa! Oh god, I'm gonna get fucking... Oh, so spinny. Evidence of a struggle. Okay. I assert that the one who was murdered was Miss Sayaka Maizono! Sayaka, yes. Yeah, you know that part already. Yeah. And the murder took place in Makoto's room. Yes. In the bathroom. Yes. So it seems most likely that... The killer must have taken her by surprise while she was in the bathroom. Yep. She didn't even have a chance to receive No, 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 there was a struggle. No, that's wrong. There was a struggle. There, there was a struggle. <laughs> yeah, did you even... Oh, wait, Chihiro didn't even go in the room. Of course they would think that. Try to remember how my room is. The room is all fucked up, Chihiro. Real fucked up. A lot of, lot of slashes, a lot of blood. With the way things have been damaged... I think we can definitely assume there was a struggle. Oh, real quick, how's the sound? Can you guys hear the game good? Because this is a lot of, like, in-game voice shit. A struggle? Between who and who? Uh... Between Sayaka and the killer, of course. Yeah. So you're saying Sayaka wasn't caught by surprise in the bathroom? Yeah. She must have been attacked in the main room first. Then, she ran to the bathroom to try and- I'm glad everything's good. Okay. The killer followed her in, and that's where they finished the job. I guess so. That much should have been obvious after taking one look at the scene. It shouldn't even need explaining. Shut the f- <sighs> Yakia, this isn't- These are some people's first murder, alright? Chill out. Sorry. Oh, he made her upset. Okay, so what's next? Next is the subject of the murder weapon. Uh, uh, knife. Wow, this is starting to sound like a real trial. <laughs> Shut up. We need to determine what killed Sayaka. It was the fucking dumb knife. Duh, the knife in the kitchen. Super easy, easy mode. But yeah. So what was used to kill her? The knife. Some kind of sharp object thrust into her stomach. Uh huh. Without a doubt, that is the murder weapon. Uh huh. So the killer used some random knife they had. No. It was the kitchen knife. No, it's wrong. Kitchen knife. No. I do think it was a knife, but not just any knife. I'm almost positive it was a kitchen knife. Why do I feel like this is like some fucking kindergarten class of just. No. Looking further, I've realized Play-Doh is fun to play with, but not to eat. Huh? A kitchen knife? My god. After the murder, we discovered that one of the knives from the kitchen was missing. Yes. Which means that knife must be the murder weapon. Yeah, it was lodged in her stomach, dude. Oh, yeah. I guess that makes sense. You could sort of see the weapon sticking out of her stomach. Yeah. And if you look real close, I could totally see that being a kitchen knife. And it did say that in the Monokuma file, didn't it? That she was, like, stabbed or whatever. So the murder weapon was a kitchen knife. But where does that get us? Why does... His voice actor sounds like, um... I forgot his name. It's it's like the Red M&M and Fry from uh, Futurama. Like, where does that get us? I mean, we all know Makoto killed her, right? Wait, huh? No. Nah, oh, bro. No, no. Yo, the fact that I we switched rooms, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We me sec. Well, we can talk all we want. It's not gonna change that conclusion. Shut up. Yeah, will. I don't think that's true at all. I'm sure if we keep at it, something new will reveal itself. You really believe that? Of course. She's right. There's gotta be a breakthrough somewhere. 
just waiting for us to find it. Because I know damn well I'm not the killer. There's a bit more to learn about non-stop debates. Would you like to learn more? Absolutely, sure. Tell me. You can concentrate by holding down the RB button. Uh, okay. When you're concentrate, when you're concentrating, time will slow down so you can pay closer attention to what everyone's saying. On top of that, you'll steady your aim, making it easier to target potential weak spots. Okay. Concentrating like this consumes the focus gauge. If the game empty, if the gauge empties, you can't concentrate, but the focus gauge will recover over time. So let your brain take a rest. <laughs> no need to rush. Hmm. <laughs> Well then, good luck and have fun. Thank you. Owie's account. Oh yeah, because I wasn't. Uh, I didn't. I didn't go take the knife. So I guess there's no question that the kitchen knife was the murder weapon. Ooh, the cursor does kind of move around. It kind of wiggles. No. Uh, no. Owie was there, dude. Okay, wait. Hold on. I didn't take the knife from the kitchen. Mm-hmm. Next, you're gonna say you're not the killer, right? Go ahead and say it all you, you want. I don't need to. Uh, Hina can well, say it for me. What if I have a witness? Yeah, witness the fitness. You know when people look left when they're lying? Yeah. What do you think, Hina? Yeah, we're all looking straight, though. Because we're all in, like, a, you know, big old circle. Oh! Huh? <gasps> Wait. Oh. Oh. Look who's looking right, right now. Fucking Mondo. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. mm -hmm. Remember what you were telling me earlier? Witness D's nuts, yeah. Remember what you were telling me earlier? Well, I went to the room to get some- or I went to go get some tea last night, and then the knives are still there. But when I wash- oh. When I finish my teas, back in the kitchen, wash my glass. Mal is my new best friend now, stolen. I was gonna make the D's nuts joke, but I decided not to. I wanted- I wanted to go with fit- witness the fitness. One of those knives was gone. So you're saying the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining hall? Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, Rose, for gifting a sub to Mal. It's really sweet of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, just to give it perfectly clear, you were in the dining hall, yes. Yeah, that's right. And at any point while you were there, did you ever see me come into the dining hall? What? Did she see who went into the dining hall to get the knife, bro? Just say that. This is such a weak account, honestly. Aw, so. oh, dude, Byakuya, don't fucking rip her shreds, dude. Don't do it. No, he definitely wasn't there. Okay, good. The knife disappeared while Kino was in the dining hall. But I <sighs> wasn't there the entire time. In other words, there's no way I could have taken the knife. Okay, then what about <gasps> this? Toko's also looking to the left. What if the idiot swimmer girl and Mikoto are in on it together, and lying to protect each other? Ooh, accomplices. Here comes Eeyore with the gift subs, let's go. Yeah, Rose, Rose loves gift and subs. <laughs> she's, she's quite literally a sugar mama, and I, I can't do much about it, frankly. Idiot swimmer girl? Oh shit, yeah, that's right. Uh, Hien is the ultimate swimmer. Oh, and more importantly... Why would I, I feel loved. Like Aw, well, we all love you, Mal. What the hell? Remember whenever we were talking in chat, or talking in the, the Discord about everyone being cute? Speaking of which, hell yeah. Like ask Includes you, dummy. There is an accomplice. Do they also become blackened? <gasps> oh, good, good idea. Uh, good, good thought. Whenever there's an accomplice, do they both leave, or do they so both die? Asked, and so I shall answer. Okay. Each murder is allowed to have an accomplice, but only the one who does the killing will get to graduate. I'll go sit in the unloved corner. Shut the fuck up, Danny. Literally, you were the first one somebody called cute, and you were the first one to object to it. You bitch. 
Each number is each murder is about. Oh, but only one. The only. Okay, that makes sense. So it's only the person who actually does the killing. Okay. So in other words, two people can work together, but one of them has no chance of profiting from it. That's fucked up. So they'll they'll just die in the end anyway. Then there's no way anyone would work together, right? Uh, unless there's some weird cult leader fucking major simpage going on. But what if they did work together and they just didn't know about the rule? True. Oh, <gasps> Chihiro! Why are you looking to the left, sweetie? Oh no, did you work together with somebody and you don't know? <laughs> no. Uh, good grief, enough already. No, okay? There are no accomplices in this case. Oh shit, oh dude, thanks Monokuma. Thanks for fucking spoiling it, dog. Okay, no accomplices, so it is just one murderer. Nice. Did I say that out loud? Yeah, you did, buddy. Anyway, I didn't go to the dining hall. Sweet. Home, and I didn't take the knife. Okay. So I'm not the killer. Okay, so then who did take the knife? It was either the murderer or fucking Sayaka. Kina seems the obvious candidate. No. After all, she just said she was in the dining hall. Yeah, for tea. No, no way. I swear it wasn't me. <laughs> I don't know if I could trust that though, honestly. Sure. But can you or anyone else prove that? Oh, shit. I don't think so, right? I can. Oh, shit! Oh, okay, coming out of the woodworks. That's right. Sakura was with me the entire time I was drinking my tea. So then why aren't we also getting a testimony from Sakura about the whole knife thing? Uh, uh whatever. I hate to have to ask, but just to be sure, Sakura's... Sakura's a girl. Me. Right. But then, couldn't what? either one of them have grabbed the knife? Yeah, but they they didn't though. They're too cool. They're too gamer. Actually, no. Because, um, well. Uh, where is this going? Just spit it out already. Yeah, might as well. I stayed in Hina's room last night. I mean, they're. They're both girls, so it's fine. It's, it's no biggie. It's like a little slumber party. I got so scared thanks to those creepy videos. Yeah. I wasn't really thinking. I just asked her to stay over. It happens. Which means we have airtight alibis. Hell yeah, alibis. Stayed over? Doesn't that violate one of the school regulations? No. We're not allowed to sleep anywhere but the dorms. But it doesn't say we have to stay in our assigned room. True. So that's that's what me and Sayaka did. We switched rooms. It is a problem. A no, Taka. Taka. It's, it's Taka, you're a fucking idiot. But I'm a girl. Go, oh, Taka, no. <laughs> you are. Taka. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Taka, you fucking artard, bro. But if it wasn't either of you, then what other possibility is there? Um, it was fucking Sayaku who took the knife. I don't know. Actually, there is one other possibility. Right, Hina? Huh? Oh, yeah, that's true. <gasps> one other person did come to the dining is it, hall while we were there. Is it Sayaka? Why didn't you say so in the first place? <laughs> Shut up, Baki. Byaki, that's true, though. Well, because they're not here anymore. So it, so it was Sai, well, it's Sayaka or Junko. Someone who's not here, are you talking about? Sayaka. She's the one who came to the dining hall. And then later, she wound up dead. Okay. Huh. S Sayaka? Okay, so the person who took the knife from the kitchen was Sayaka. Then... Sayaka is the one who took the knife? For, I mean, okay. For for here, for people who weren't here last stream, me and her literally went to the gym to try to find, like, a weapon or something to use as, like, self-defense. So I'm thinking... This is, I'm, I'm trying to be big brain here. I'm thinking she got the knife for self-defense. Because, I mean, I mean, like, where else are we going to find a fucking blade, right? Because uh, we found a weird katana thing in the gym 
but whenever you touch it, it gets gold on your hands. Like, the paint rubs off on your hands. So we were like, nah. We were like, nah, that's not good for her, or something. And she said that I should keep it in my room. Which is the room that she ended up in. Which is weird to think about. Uh, but uh, whatever. That's the only possibility. Okay. And thinking back on it, she was acting kind of unusual. Well, no shit, she was scared to death, man. When she came into the dining hall, she didn't even look at us. She just went straight to the kitchen. Okay, okay, wait, pause. Full pause. This is my actual big brain moment. I'm gonna tell you, I'm right now, it's my big brain moment. Me and Sayaka switched rooms. Our, like, our, our dorm rooms. The dorms show the person's name and what they look like on the door. And they were swapped. Somebody swapped the nameplates that night that we already, that we swapped rooms, so it actually showed who was in what room. Did Sayaka, or whoever, switch my fuck the fucking things? And what's the purpose of her doing- nah, she wouldn't have done that, that doesn't make sense. Cause even- I mean, like, what's the purpose? Even- even if she- Oh... What? No, I don't get it. Oh, whatever, I'm just gonna keep playing, maybe they'll talk about As it. she left, she said she just wanted a drink of water. But most likely... She hid the knife in the water! The person who took the knife was the victim herself! Yeah, but- oh my god, his eyebrows did get way bigger! <laughs> I'm sure... I'm sure she just took it for self-defense. Yeah, cause she talked about it- we, we did that before. And it, it, it's not like she's the one who got fucking murdered, alright? <laughs> so you're saying the knife she took was then taken from her, and she was killed with it? Eh, it's not that weird. I mean, and before, I, I thought, since she, like, locked herself in the bathroom, maybe, uh, the murderer broke into the bathroom, the door swung open, and, like, she accidentally stabbed herself with a knife. I mean, that's not ex- you know, it's not really out of the question, is it? In that case, you may not have taken the knife, but you still could have killed her. Oh, that's true, isn't it? Uh... <laughs> fuck. <laughs> because I mean, yeah, that is true. See? He did do it after all. <laughs> no. No. I didn't. I'm the main character. I didn't do it. So that's how you would twist the argument and send us all off in the wrong direction. <laughs> no. Hmm. You possess a most terrifying talent. Damn. If I don't do something, they're gonna blame me for the murder. Don't they understand? If they convict me, everyone's gonna die. Toko girl kind of sus. Hold on. It's huh? still too early to decide conclusively that Makoto is the killer. What yeah, say? we have so much more fucking evidence, like the the glass ball and the fucking uh the 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 ripped clothes with the blood on it that somebody tried to burn to like destroy the evidence like there's so much more to this fucking case because you see if the room did belong to the killer then they did something most bewildering oh <gasps> yes are we finally going to bring up the switching of the nameplates and until we unravel that little mystery you simply can't declare that he's the killer okay bewildering what the hell are you talking about? The nameplate. Something was missing from the scene of the crime that by all rights should have been there. The scene of the crime? You know what I'm talking about, don't you? No, I don't actually. First Hangman's Gambit is about to begin. Would you like to hear more? Uh, yes. Hangman's Gambit? As things advance further in the class trial, the hangman's gambit will eventually take place. At this point in the trial, an important phrase rela uh, related to the incident in question. You'll have to deduce the phrase from the letters flying around and the letters already known. Complete the phrase by shooting down the flying letters in the right order. Use the left stick to aim, the Y button to shoot. If you shoot down the wrong letters, you'll suffer damage to your influence gauge. 
Uh, if the influence gauge reaches zero, you will run out of time. Oh, or if you run out of time, you fail. Well then, good luck and have fun. Thank you. Something that should have been at the scene, but wasn't. Uh, if we can figure that out, something is... Uh, okay, what are the letters? H, I, uh, hair! Yeah, that's right, there wasn't any hair at the scene of the crime. Because of the lint roller. Yeah, I, I forgot about that whole thing. <laughs> There's hair! There wasn't a single hair on the floor. Yeah. So, the culprit removed some evidence? A lot of evidence, Chihiro. Yes, and if I were the culprit... I would have, uh, uh, got rid of the hair. Why would I need to get rid of all the hair in my own room? True. It wouldn't be unusual at all to find my hair at the crime scene if the crime scene is in my room. Oh. So it's, okay, that makes sense. It's not me, because if it was me, why would I get rid of all the hair in my room? The only reason why somebody would get rid of the hair on the ground, and all the hair in the room, is because it was someone who wasn't me. Like, like if their hair was, like, purple or whatever, or like, uh, like orange or some shit. The reason all the or, or like blonde, yeah. ...was to remove any trace that Sayaka had ever been there. No. And the Sayaka and the murderer, dumbass. That makes sense, does it not? No. No. If that were the case, they would have had to do something about the body itself, not just her hair. <laughs> yes, very true, very true. <laughs> very true. <laughs> okay, then why wasn't there any hair on the ground? The killer got rid of it all, of course, to remove any trace that they had ever been there. Big brain. And that means it wasn't me, dumbasses. Precisely. It's simply beyond reason to believe that the room's owner and the killer are one and the same. There's still so many weird pieces of this that I don't understand, though. Um, Makoto isn't the culprit? Yes, dumbasses. Are you sure we can decide something so important based solely on the absence of some hair? Uh, maybe. No. <laughs> Not really. There are other reasons that prove why Makoto couldn't have done it. Well, why are you smirking? Fucking say it, Charlie Brown. God. I would like to hear these reasons. Uh, me too. Do you remember anything remarkable about the bathroom at the scene? Mm hmm. -hmm. The writing. Sayaka was yeah. attacked in the main room first, then fled into the bathroom, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then they ran after her, got into the bathroom, and stabbed her. No, the 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 door was locked or whatever. They thought the door was locked. And how did the killer get into the bathroom? Did they have any trouble with it? What do you mean? It's fairly certain that the killer had some trouble getting into the bathroom. Mm -hmm. There was clear evidence left behind. Do you remember, Makoto? Yeah, the door handle was all uh, fucked up and unscrewed and shit, right? Uh, the killer struggled to get into the bathroom. The evidence that proves it is... Uh, oh, whoa, whoa! Uh, uh, um, uh, 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 uh doorknob. Broken doorknob. Ah, present. I got it. There we go. Evidence that the killer had trouble getting into the bathroom. You're talking about the doorknob, right? Huh? The doorknob? What doorknob? <laughs> what doorknob? Hero, did you even go into the fucking room, dude? You you were in Chihiro. Never mind. The doorknob for my bathroom. It was completely broken. See how the top part was unscrewed? And the doorknob's about ready to fall off? Oh, yeah, true. But what does it mean? In trying to bypass the lock, they ended up nearly removing the entire doorknob. You know what I just noticed? The... The slang of saying the word true is so stupid. <laughs> just, oh, yes, truth. Truthfully so. Oh, yes, truthful. Yes. Such a weird slang word. Like, oh, yeah, true. Yeah, true that. Yeah, true. This is another most bewildering act for the room's owner. Mm -hmm. It proves Makoto is beyond suspicion. 
Yay. So what? You're saying he wouldn't break the door in his own room? Yeah, because I know it, dumbass. But if the only choice you have is oh to my break God. it, you break it. There's nothing bewildering about it. You still don't see? Okay, then. Let's take another look at how the incident unfolded. Hopefully that will help you understand. Okay. Kyoko said it was a bewildering act. I almost didn't notice at first, but is that the key point here? There's a bit more to learn about the non-stop debates. Would you like to learn more? Why didn't you tell me at all in the beginning? From here on out, the number of weak spots will start g going up. Uh, but no matter how many weak spots, there's essentially only one lie or contradiction in that debate. W what I'm trying to say is that not all weak spots you see are necessarily false. Use a truth bullet on the wrong one, and not only will you fail to refute what they say, but you also lower your trust with everyone, and your influence gauge will take damage. Now, this is important because if your influence gauge reaches zero, you will fail. Uh, you have to rely on your own logic to determine the, which weak spots are actually lies or contradictions. I'm back. Yo, what's up? What's up? Well then, good luck and have fun. I'm eating my Jimmy Gimme Gimme Gons. I hope it's real yummy. Bathroom door frame. Who did it? Uh, don't know yet. Not me. Not Makoto. Sayaka was first attacked in the main room. Yes. She then fled into the back room. Then the killer ran after her. Yes. And they got into the back room. Okay. At that point, the killer had to try and rush no. down the door. Oh fuck! Huh? What's wrong? If you keep trying to dis disrupt the trial, you're gonna get your you're gonna get put on trial yourself. Shit! <laughs> Shit! Are you sure it's not you? Of course! It's not me! I loved, uh, Sayaka, I think was her name. Who did it? It was Colonel Mustard in Koto's room with a knife. <laughs> it was, it was Mr. Green. I need to think about it one more time. There must be a contradiction somewhere. Okay, so it wasn't... So busting it down was fine. Like, that statement was fine. Even though we thought that they unscrewed it. Okay, door frame, door frame. Door frame. And they got into the bathroom. The bathroom. And At bust it down. The had to try and bust down the door. Yeah, they bust it down. Had locked it. No, 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 not locked. Right? Not locked. It was just... It was just fucked up. That's what it was. I need to think about the evidence that I have more. The bathroom didn't open wasn't because it was locked. It's because the fucking door frame was shitty. After all, the girls' rooms are the only ones with walking bathrooms, right? Yeah, and I'm a boy. Yes, now that you mention it, that is true. Then why didn't your bathroom door open? Because it was stuck. Yeah, huh? stuck what are you on D's. D's nuts. My bathroom door doesn't These nuts, Leon. Right. These, these heckin' chonkin' nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I need I need to not joke around. This is a serious matter. Yep. True as true can be. Hell yeah! Monokuno's ex Monokuno. Monokuma is actually like sticking up for me. He understands the drip. You know what I just realized about Monokuma? His uh his left eye there, it looks like it's like he's got really crazy eyelashes, but they're just closed. Uh, that's interesting to me. Anyway. But you know, you're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? Yeah. But to have such a cruddy door. Shut up, dude. <laughs> that's not lucky at all. <sighs> so the reason the you door did that on purpose, I bet. <laughs> was stuck. But the killer didn't know that and assumed it was locked. So they tore apart the doorknob to get in. Ah, oh, you know what that means? So it means that before the murderer or whatever got to the room to to uh, kill Sayaka that the plates had been switched because why would he be so confused about the like thinking oh like uh or why, why would they be so confused uh why is it locked or whatever whenever it's a boy's room 
like an idiot. But then why would the killer even think the door was locked in the first place? Oh, God damn it. I need to stop talking because we're literally just divulging everything that I'm saying after I say it. Everyone should have known you can't lock any of the boys' bathrooms. No. The killer could easily make that mistake thanks to one important detail about the scene of the crime. The... the plates, huh? Convinced the bathroom door was locked, but they didn't know that it actually couldn't be locked. In other words, the important detail about the scene... Uh, crime took place in my room. I got it. Uh, that took- that, that threw me for a loop. That, it was my room. <laughs> that was like a double negative, I was like, uh, is it- uh, it's my room. <laughs> they didn't realize that it was my room. What? Are you saying the culprit didn't even know where he was? <laughs> That's inconceivable! <laughs> is it really, though? I mean... And yet, he's absolutely right. I mean, if I was the murderer, if I entered the room, and there was not the correct person that I wanted to murder in there? Or you know what I think it is? It's the saltiness. Huh? Like... So, like, let's say I wanted to kill, like, uh, Kyoko. If I walked into Kyoko's room, and it wasn't Kyoko inside of it, I would walk out of Jimmy Jones. Jimmy Jones. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'll I like Jimmy John's. I'll say that. I like it. I give it like a 7 out of 10, maybe. Yeah. And Subway is very heavy tasting. It's like flat and not as cold. Yeah. Jimmy John's to me, it's, it's like a little bit colder. It's a little bit, like it doesn't have any crazy flavors in there. And fresher. Yeah, like, Jimmy John's lettuce tastes fresher to me. And Jimmy John's bread is like, yeah, I like, I don't know. I don't know, I mean, they're, they're both good. It's just really w whatever taste I want that day. Um, he's absolutely right. Say what? <laughs> Say what? Bro, and Jimmy John's always has good-ass tomatoes. Yeah, I don't know why, but sometimes uh, the Subway tomatoes suck dick. Yeah. Well, to be more specific. I don't know. I feel like there's been a couple times where I've gotten Jimmy John's and the tomatoes had been bad. But I mean that you could say that with like, oh, I got a pizza and the crust was weird. Duh. What the killer didn't know was that Makoto and Sayaka had. Overall, I'd say moves. better, better fresher. Um, the killer didn't know what the mo oh yeah, they didn't know that we switched rooms. Which is what led to the misunderstanding about the bathroom. Penn Station? I don't think I've ever had Penn Station. Room, then... Uh, if Saka... Have you, have you guys ever had Wawa? Wawa is really fucking good, dude. Wawa is great. I, if, you, if you hadn't, I'd say, uh, if you're in like the... If you're, if you're on the... Never mind, like, if you're on the West Coast... I, I think even, like, kind of, like, Middle America, like, uh... There, there's Wawa's around there. Some some good shit. Then there would have been a lock on the door, and they would have had to break through! Yeah, if it was a girl's bath bathroom, but it's not. So they had no idea how unnecessary their actions were. Okay. That being said, we should, like, look around. <laughs> we should look around at the the, the people here. And whoever looks the most, like, ashamed of themselves, it's got to be them. They got to be the murderer. Ultimately, we can't know if it came open by force or mm. simply by accident. But... But... Uh, Mondo looks kind of stupefied. I think it was maybe Mondo. I think it was definitely a boy who, who did this crime. I don't think it was a girl. When I go to Florida, because my aunt's a major, I think we go to Wawa. Yeah, what was I like it. I, I will say you see a lot of grandmas there sometimes. And also like a lot of like I don't know. Meh people, I'd say. Like gas station people. But it, it's still good food. Still good. Oops. Oh go oh god. The pillar must have been considerably confused, with no idea how they actually got the door open. 
Regardless, it was a pointless act. Yes. Wasting time trying to break down a door that wasn't locked is stupid. Definitely something I wouldn't do, since I would have known exactly why it wasn't opening. We don't have Wawa where I live. Yes, it's it's like only in the West Coast area, like kind of um, West Coast, and I'd say. Uh, what's it called? It's like, like, like Middle America. I forget the word for it. That is a definite possibility. They definitely they don't have Wawas in Texas, Texas or Florida. I don't think they have Wawas. It's more of a um. Wait, no, they do have them. They do have them in uh, Florida. Am I thinking? Uh, am I thinking East Coast instead of West Coast? Am I stupid? I think I might be. I don't know. Maybe it's a East Coast West Coast thing, and like not in the middle. Uh, uh whatever. <laughs> whatever. Maybe they're all over the place. I'm just stupid. So the killer would have to switch. Uh, yeah, cause I know my own bathroom door, and cause the hair thing. See, it's what I'm trying to tell you. Okay, then who did do it? You, Mondo, because you're so m pissed about the fact that you're too stupid to know that it's not a girl's bathroom door. I'm sorry, but I give up. Quit without saving. Huh? But what happens if we can't decide on who we think did it? We'll just keep talking it out. There's still a lot more evidence to go through. Well, why don't we just vote right now? Majority rules. Me? What, bros? Well then, no, 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 no. Rules? You really think that's a good idea? Fuck no, it's not. Yeah, our necks are on the line here. Someone I did seriously it. needs to you do something. You did it. Con For congratulations. Does no one have you did any it. Other <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to murder you now. I'm gonna have to put you on trial. Excuse me. Uh. Oh, as a matter of fact. I do have one question. What's the question? Oh, you. <laughs> Celeste, you fucking cunt. Oh. <sighs> you. You don't gotta sound so disappointed. True. It's fine, it's fine. Just ask your question. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, um, well, I was just wondering. How'd the culprit get into Makoto's room in the first place? That's what I want to know. Honestly, I, I have no fucking idea. Because they were supposed to win her hair anti-gravity. Honestly, yeah, it's like some fucking... It's like a dog or a cow came up and, like, licked it. Just... The fucking thing she wrote. Huh? She did, yeah. She did literally write Leon's name whenever she died. Also, please, if you know about Danganronpa and you're in chat, do not spoil anything. Not even like semi spoilers. Let us come to a let us come to a point and learn it ourselves. Um, it's okay to talk about like evidence and things, but like you know, don't don't give me the answers. What if she killed herself? Honestly, that's what I was thinking. I thought, like whoever broke into the room. Like, you know, or whatever, like, got into the room somehow. Whenever they broke open the door? I've seen the bear and stuff, but I've never seen this game ever. Alright, cool. I think you, you told me that a couple nights ago. Whenever they broke into the bathroom, what if the door, like, swinging open? I mean, obviously they had, like, a little fight or whatever with the knife and the, the sword and all that or bullshit. And then, whenever they broke broke into the bathroom like slam shut the 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 door hit uh sayaka's hand and she stabbed herself with the knife maybe the person oh big brain okay big brain moment big brain moment uh the murderer uh was invited over into sayaka's room I, I like I like just kind of guessing shit, so don't don't judge me, because uh, I like doing this. And plus, it's it's I'm playing the game. I'm the streamer. I get to do what I want. Fuck you. Um. Sayaka invited the person over, planning to kill them, and they fought. Uh, the thing is, 
Sayaka had the knife. And the person was just blocking with the sword. But then, like, shit got a little bit too heavy. So Sayaka hid in the, uh, in the bathroom. And that explains why they started fighting. And why the, why the sword has, um, knife marks. Or, like, why the, why the sword has cuts on it. Or the, the sheath of the sword, that is. Because Sayaka was the one with the knife. Bada bing, bada boom. Bro, big brain. Nani, how are you, Nonners? Nonners McBonners, how are you and your uh, significant other? Huh? Mm. Yes. How did the killer get inside? Imagine a knife hit her hand and stabbed her and killed her on accident. Well, the thing is, her her right wrist was broken. And I'm assuming... Well, we're... Well... What? We're well, thank you for asking. What about you? I'm doing, I'm doing good. No, stabbed her killer. Imagine the knife hit her hand, and it stabbed her killer on accident. Well... With that, with that logic, it wouldn't be her who was... dead. I don't know, because her right wrist was, like, broken or fractured or whatever. Then they were like, damn, you escalating? Well, it's because it's obvious she had the knife and was attacking whoever, and they defended with the sword, right? And then they hit their wrist with the sword... And then, you know, fractured their wrist, they dropped the knife, maybe they, like, quickly picked it up with their other hand, and then, like, ran into the bathroom, uh, you know, then they were, like, readying, readying their knife for whenever they came in. Fucking, they just break in and accidentally stab yourself. Maybe that makes sense. Maybe Sayaka just dropped the key somewhere and the culprit picked it up. That's possible, right? <gasps> Damn! Damn! Nice one, Rose. Let's... Fuck yeah, Rose. Good moderating skills. <laughs> Five messages were deleted. Sorry, text spam is bad. What was it? Because I, I saw the Shrek thing in chat and I was like, that's whatever. But like, text spam? It's just a Shrek. Ah. Well, I don't know. Still, still, thank you. Thank you, Rose, for, for looking out for the stream. It's very, very, uh, needed. <laughs> it really means a lot to me. And it's okay, Nani. It, you know, you're only... It's one second. It's no biggie. No, no, uh, harm, no foul. Yeah. So. I love you, I'm that sorry. No, 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 it's fine. Everybody, everybody, like, hug. Let's all big hug. Make up. It's fine. I don't think so. It seems so convenient. Honestly, yeah. How do you just drop a room key after you get it? Maybe somebody picked the lock? Ooh, that's good. I just delete the messages. I wouldn't actually time you out. Yeah. Negative. If you remember, Monokuma made it quite clear that the locks are all unpickable. Yes, I know, big QD. Don't worry about it. Nani is the big QD. QT. I'm a mobile. I'm too fast. Rose. Rose, the fucking... The, this, the quick arm of the West. Got the big iron. I honestly don't trust eyebrows, simply because I don't like them. Nani, you make me blush. Rose, you blush at anything. <laughs> Fine. How about this? The killer got in the easy way. Fuck does that mean? They could have knocked and said they wanted to talk or something, and Miss Maizono just let him in. Uh, you know, I wasn't gonna rule that out. No, that can't be it either. Uh, how do you know, Makoto? How do you fucking know? Oh, trying to argue against me? Sounds just because like you're correct doesn't mean you should call me out. Place. But I like calling you out. I like calling you in general. I've been feeling so shit lately. Why, Nani? What, what's wrong? I, are you like sick or something? Hello. Why exactly can't that be? Yeah. It? Why? <laughs> True. Hifumi does the point. 
Oh, Laza, give her pats. Here, let me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a break from the game. Hmm? Yes. I'm insecure as fuck, and it, 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 a lot of things have been happening. A lot of things. A lot of things? Like what? Do you mean like... Uh, do you mean like people have been complimenting you lately? Or do you mean like you've been feeling insecure about it? It's okay. It's okay, Nani. Everybody always has like those insecurities. You just gotta... I don't know, like, push through it, and it, it really helps whenever people do give you, like, genuine compliments and things. I'm figuratively punching your insecurity in the balls right now. Classic Rose. Because she asked me to do something in particular because of how frightened she was. That's the answer right there. Oh, the fucking, we swapped rooms in the first place because she didn't want to talk with anybody. And she, she literally said to me, like, uh... Verbatim said to me Aggressive love dude. That's like aggressive um, What's it not love like therapy like a ag ag aggressive um, Body positivity therapy <laughs> Nani's feeling like shit. That's not good. Who do I need to shank? I understand that Nani I really do hope you start feeling better, bud. Um, because we, we really do like you here, and the times that you come and chat, it, it, it's, I don't know, it makes me really happy. We love you lots, money. Love you lots and lots. <laughs> I love all of you. Aww, Nani. Group hug. Group hug. You guys are big cuties. You're the biggest cutie of all. You're you're the queen of the cuties. There's no way to say I could let someone in because oh fuck, oh god, switching rooms, toolkit, uh, uh, switching rooms maybe, switching rooms, dying message, fuck it, switching rooms. I don't know, dude. I got it. I got it. Because Sayaka was already scared, remember? I love that your That's name why she asked means me to what? In the first place. Oh, Nani? <laughs> Nani. Pretty close, Rose. Pretty close, honestly. Nani. There's Nani and Nani. Uh, Nani the fuck? What the fuck? You help the Nani feel better. Well, I mean. No, I don't know. I don't... I don't want to give myself too much credit. <laughs> I know how it's spelled rather than... Oh, I mean, of course, yeah. None of these fuck. German, Japanese. Ze. Ge Germanese. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Classic Rose coming up with cute phrases. Bro. Because Sayaka already... Oh, yeah! Okay. So I was right. It's because she was scared. She didn't want to switch rooms. Or she wanted to switch rooms because she didn't want to... Get murdered. Uh, give yourself credit, Matt, or sell. Help me God, I'll... Take your sideburns. No! I only have two of those. You know what? Even if you did, they'd grow back within like three days. <laughs> Same goes for you, Sayaka. No matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. Even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? True. Oh yeah, I did my nails today. Ooh, pretty. No, I want to see... I just what color? Or like, you know, like, describe. What? Well, like, what color did you do? Fine, then I'll take your quiff. Quiff? What's a quiff? Is that like... Take my like unibrow or something. Take something I don't want. Different shades of pink with the cute white and black line design. Ooh, 
fucking killing it, Nani. Nonners, Bonners with the fucking fabulous ass nails. Hot damn. Out here fucking killing it. What if her being scared was a lie? Huh? Wait. Wait, what? The flick of your hair. Oh, that's my qu <laughs> quiff. <laughs> I see what you're saying, Danny. I need that. Don't take that. I don't want to be bald. <laughs> Oh my god, big brain moment, big brain. She fucking, she's been, okay, I kind of said this last stream. What if she was fucking with us that whole time? Like, she doesn't, she doesn't actually remember me at all from, like, middle school or whatever. Apple juice yummers? Dude, apple juice is fucking delicious. All juice is delicious. Except for, like, orange juice with pulp. I don't know, I don't, I don't like the texture of orange juice with pulp. Pulp Fiction. Anyway, let's continue. Huh? Huh? Well, what the hell is that supposed to mean? Why would she lie about something like that? Dude, I I like already paint my nails black just because it it makes me feel gamer, and because I like them, it helps my like nails stick out more. Do it, Danny. It's fucking awesome, dude. Literally, like a lot of guys are like, uh, no, I'm not gonna paint my nails because it, it makes me girly, and girls don't like girly guys or whatever. There's been so many times where I've, like, been in public, and people come up to me like, Dude, you're fucking awesome. Like, black nails are badass. I'm like, fuck yeah, man. And we just, like, have a bro moment. Normalized guys painting their nails, because it's sick. And also, kind of normalized guys wearing makeup as well. Like, maybe not, like, anything crazy, but fuck yeah, dude. Like, if you want to hide your acne, or if you want to, like... You know, have fun with it a little bit. Like, go ahead. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Yeah, black's not the only color for guys. Like, fucking... Paint your nails green. If you, you... You know, green's your favorite color. Fuck it. Whatever. Self, uh... What's it? What's the word? It, like, be yourself, dumbass. Danny would rock some dark red nails. Dude, I could see him doing, like, red and black... Like, interchanging in between his nails. That'd be sick. The hell's that supposed to mean? Why would she lie about something like that? Because she wants to get you on your good side, bro. She knows this is a killing game. I, know you don't like I gotta to pee. But look at this and tell me. Can uh, you still deny the possibility? Look at this? Look at what? You've been withholding fucking evidence, you bitch? I gotta pee. Go pee, heroes. Go take a tinkle. Tinkle, winkle, pinkle. Literally nothing in the world has a gender. If a person wants to do makeup or their manicure, go for it and slay it. Yeah. She flashes her titties. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Rose. Look at this. Whoa. I would be like, eh, I'm too scared to. Dude, do it. Nobody cares. Just do it. If it makes you, f if you think you want to, do it. And, you know, it'll like go away. It's not like it's permanent or anything. What the fuck? There's something I want to talk to you about, just the two of us. Uh, come in five minutes to my room. Come and see me in my room, check the nameplates to make sure you don't go to the wrong room, okay? Sayaka. Danny, I'm sure we would hype you up for it, of course. I love guys painting their nails. Yeah, I mean it's fucking awesome. I, I I've been I've been rocking black nails for like a really long time. Whatever makes you describe yourself more, do it. Well, I, I wouldn't say describe, like live yourself. Like d do what you want to do. My boyfriend does that too. Uh, I actually don't like manicures. They like hurt my nails a lot, and I I don't know. I like the whole natural look of nails more. Or just everything really. So I don't know. That's just me though. My dyed hair does enough, to be fair. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? She swapped rooms, her nameplates, on your room, right? We don't know. I wax my eyebrows. I fucking, like, everybody does, bro. I, I, like... Uh, what's it? I have to pluck them. Come see me in my room, check the nameplate to make sure you don't get the wrong room, okay? Oh. <gasps> Oh my fucking god. 
She was lying to me. Or she, she was lying to Makoto. I plucked my eyebrows because it's a horror sort. Yeah, same. They're just like burning wax. She swapped rooms. We swapped rooms. She wanted me, or wait, what? She wanted him. She wanted Mondo, or uh, you know, whoever the fuck it is, to go to the room I was in. Check the nameplates, make sure you don't get the wrong room, okay? I found a notepad during my search, and I shaded in the top sheet with a pencil. What the and fuck? And these are the words that appear. Oh man, I've totally seen people do that on detective shows. <laughs> Hina's like, ha, ha wow, detective. When you write, it can leave an imprint. Sketch over the next sheet of paper, and you can see the words. Yeah. Bro, I've got chills. She's fucking scaring me. Who? Hina? One eyebrow slit again. Oh yeah, eyebrow slits are pretty cool. Never had one. And it is kind of a pain in the fucking dick to get one. No one wants a unibrow, same. Cookies, oh, I love cookies. Deadass bitch says check the room. Yeah, fucking the nameplates. So we don't know who switched the nameplates. We don't, we don't know what the fuck was going on there. But Sayaka did tell someone to go to the room I was in, I think. When I saw that, I was like, holy crap. I better make sure I rip the paper out before I use it from now on. Oh, Hina, what the fuck? It's a pretty old fashioned technique, but even the classics can be surprisingly useful sometimes. She was like, your eyebrows are so nice, or too nice. Huh. Oh, I get that. That's why you couldn't do it. Or and have it done. Also mention, I found the notepad on the desk in Makoto's room. Why don't you hold this evidence honest honestly? I think that's that might be something that this chick uh, Kyoko does a lot. Um, she kind of waits. No, let's just fuck this whole thing up. Yeah. So, they she found that in my room. Which was, that's where Sayaka was. So she wrote that in my room, gave it to whoever, then went and got the knife, and then went back to her room. And within that time, I think she either swapped the plates, which I don't know why the fuck she would do that, because, like, it doesn't do anything. Fuck your theories, look, here's a note in your room, aka old Sayaka's room, then swapped rooms. Well, the thing is, we swapped rooms. It's the name plates that I don't understand. Huh? Which means only someone who had been in Makoto's room before the incident could have written it. Yes. By the way, I love how into it Rose is getting. I love it. <laughs> I wasn't here for most of this. Yeah, this was a, a lot of this stuff was last stream, or or like we were we were learning about it. I'm just angry now because I'm confused. Don't worry, don't worry, Rose. We'll get to the bottom of it. We'll figure it out. We're not gonna die. Then either it was Makoto who lived there, no, or Sayaka who switched rooms for a single night. It was definitely Sayaka because she lied to me, dumbass. So, Makoto. Did you I love, I love the heated rose. It, it, it's so good. No, I didn't. Oh, stop! Why am I looking to the left? Why did she swap rooms that fucking night? She swapped rooms because she told me that she was really scared. Okay, 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 I'll give you the full story. She, it was really late. This fucking, okay, that, that, that uh, music was really loud in the background. Alright, so, the full story is, uh, ever since we arrived in this place, and we got knocked the fuck out, and we woke up, and we learned that this was a killing game, or whatever, and that we have to, like, kill each other if we want to live, or, or get out, she, she's been really buddy-buddy with me, she was like, oh, you know, like, give me, like, flirting the whole time, like, with Makoto, and literally that night, 
she was like, oh my god, like, ding dong. And I was like, oh, who's at the door? Open up the door, she's there, all fucked up. And she's like, somebody was knocking on my door and trying to get in my room. I was like, huh? I was like, oh my god, somebody tried to get in your room? She was like, yeah, I'm really scared. But thank god my door was, my door was locked, so we were good. And I was like, okay. And then, fucking, we swapped rooms... Because, well, at the time, we were like, okay, so if somebody's trying to get into her room, I'd rather have them come and get me than get her. But then this came up. A girl was flirting with my man today. I almost dragged her by her eyelashes. Nah, they just pull off props. Honestly, <laughs> just go... You gotta pick her up by her dumbass hair. That's what you gotta do. Yeah, yank her up by the hair. <laughs> Me and Rose got the same fucking idea. She's fucking with your head. It's a huge. It's a big conspiracy, bro. She's fucking dead now. <laughs> so, whatever. I mean, ugh. I'll just continue. Fuck it. Of course you didn't, because the note also bears a perfectly legible signature. It literally says Sayaka on it. Why are we even talking about? Dra drag her by her fucking shoes. I don't know. Fucking shitty ass shoes. Bro, let's speak ill about the dead real quick. Nani put her through a table. Sayaka wrote it. No shit, fucking Makoto. Of course she did. But, but why? Why would she write that? And why would she lie to you? I don't know. Maybe she was trying to get you killed or something? The note was likely her way of getting in touch with a certain someone. Okay. She must have slid it under their door to let them know she wanted to meet with them in secret. Okay. I almost shoved a knife down her throat. Hell yeah. You got an invitation like that from the ultimate pop sensation. What young man could resist? Hey, Fumi, god damn it, dude. I hope you die next. Of course, I'm only into 2D, so Ugh. it wouldn't have any effect on me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But can you be sure anyone even got this note? Uh, oh, where did you... Um. Huh. How do we even know that? Violence isn't the solution is the answer. <laughs> True. Um, we could check people's garbage, maybe? I don't know. And honestly, even if they did, I do not think they are at all involved in what happened. Uh, what do you mean? But she got murdered that... Well, I don't know, maybe. Huh? What makes you say that? <laughs> Would you like to hear what I have to say? Well, were you the person who got the note, huh? Very well, then. Pay attention. Yeah, I was gonna say, she got the note. Me and me and Rose are on this shit. We're not even gonna talk about the piece of clothing with blood on it that we found in the incinerator and all that shit. Ah, oh, whatever. Dorm nameplates! Yes, finally! Let's talk about the fucking nameplates, please. Sayaka and Makoto switched rooms, correct? Yes, we did. But in the note, the place they were asked to come to... Yes. It specifically says, my room. Yes. So if someone read that note, then they would have gone to Sayaka's room. Maybe. Exactly. The room that Makoto... No, bitch, I wasn't no, staying in not. her room. The nameplates got switched, dumbass. The nameplates on Shut up, Danny, you horny bastard. Switched. Yeah, somebody switched the nameplates. So he ended up going into the... Wait, what? I'm so goddamn confused, because if the nameplates got switched before the murderer showed up, why did she still get murdered? <gasps> let me be horny, damn it. I won't let you, Danny. Go be horny somewhere else, not in my chat. <laughs> well, you're not wrong, Hush, honestly. It's me, I'm the murderer. That's exactly what Rose said. Damn it, we're gonna hang both of you. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> okay, so what I'm so confused about... Is, did Sayaka... I figured it out. I, I, I figured it out. Sayaka told whoever killed her 
to go into her room. Hippo kiss. Mwah. Mwah, mwah. Jesus, Nani, calm down. Um... Sayaka told the murderer to go to her room, which I was in. Yes, Nani. Um... Because she wanted them to kill me. What, Danny, you want one? Nerd. They got switched? Yeah, did you notice? That's right. The nameplates got switched, just like the rooms themselves. As a result, the nameplate on Sayaka's room no, I'm actually okay. had mm -hmm. Makoto's name. Mm -hmm. And the nameplate on Makoto's room had Sayaka's. So what you're saying is... The room Sayaka was staying in was actually marked as her room. She wanted them to kill you, but your nameplace got switched. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying. See? Someone fixed it. Yeah, somebody switched the nameplates so that we were in the correct rooms. Wait, was it? No. No, no, no. I have an idea of who might have fixed it. Shh. Rose, calm down. Calm down. We'll learn together. We'll learn together. Just calm down. Then, if someone did do what the note said, it would end up at Makoto's room where Sayaka was. Yeah. Plus, their rooms are right next to each other, so switching the nameplates would be no problem. Well, if if Sayaka told the person to go to her room, why would they just immediately go on a killing spree? And the one who switched the names was... Well, of course it wasn't you. Right, Makoto? No, of course it wasn't fucking me. What? Why would I? Right? Okay, then who did it? Uh, I... Okay, my hint... My hunch is telling me it was Monokuma. The only person who could switch the nameplates... Why would it be Say... It... A Sayaka went outside of her room. She could've. And I stayed in my room all night. The only person who knew about it, it was Sayaka. I got it. Me and Sayaka were the only ones who ever knew about us switching rooms. The thing is, Sayaka went and got the knife and water. Hina and Sakura were getting tea and having like a little girls, you know, play date, whatever the fuck. So why did Sayaka switch the? Oh. Did she know that that murderer was gonna murder somebody and protect me? Am I- am I double negating- am I- am I double negativing myself right now into thinking that she actually liked me? So the only other person besides me who would even know to switch the nameplates- Why did they switch- Oh, <gasps> She switched rooms because she knew the sword was in my room. And she wanted the sword. To protect- Protect herself? Because I have a katana thing in my room that we, we took because Sayaka was trying to find something to protect herself. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You missed this, Rose. Me and Sayaka, last stream, we went to go find a weapon to protect ourselves with, specifically her. And we... Yes, 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 she did. She did get a knife. Um... The thing is, the the sword, it's a replica sword. And whenever you touch it, it's like got gold paint and foil on it. Whenever you touch it, that gold rubs off on your hands. And it gets your hands all yucky with gold. So maybe she didn't like it or something? So she got the knife? I don't... I don't fucking know, dude. You can also infer as much from her note. Yes. Make sure you check the nameplates. Of course, she would want him to to check the nameplate because if the room switched, right? She specifically tells the reader to check the nameplate. Yeah. She would only have written that if she knew the nameplates had been switched. So then why did we switch rooms except for the... Oh... It, she prob... Well, she didn't know... She didn't know about the bathroom thing. So it's not that. It must have been the sword. Maybe she got the knife to protect herself, and she knew the killer would grab the sword. 
Closest weapon nearby, and the gold paint would rub off on the killer's fingers. Ah! And, and, uh, Sayaka actually wrote after she got stabbed. So the reader didn't bring a weapon? I don't know. So, the, the reader didn't bring a weapon. I, I was fucking right before. The person who read it, and then Sayaka came at them with the knife. Sayaka came at the reader with the knife, and the reader grabbed the sword. Big brain, boys. Big brain. Big brain, boys. Big brain. We figured it out. Sayaka wanted to kill whoever read the thing. Ugh. Oh. And she was gonna make it look like self-defense. Oh my god. Yeah, who has gold paint on their fingers? Who? They just- they washed their hands. And they burnt the evidence. The burnt piece of clothing. Oh my god, who's got Cheeto dust on their fucking fingers? <laughs> Let me see the fingers. But why would she switch them in the first place? <laughs> yeah, both me and Rose saying the same shit. Cute. Uh, I don't fucking know. Because of the sword? She wanted someone to come to the room she was in. And also hide the fact that it was Makoto's room. It, but the only reason I could think of that is because the bathrooms would be different. And the sword. What? Inviting someone to your room, but not telling them you'd switched rooms. Why would anyone do that? Because of the sword, right? To understand that... We first need to understand what happened after she invited the person into the room. So, she and My heart hurts if we're wrong. Shh, it's okay, Rose. We're not gonna be wrong. It's a video game. We gotta win it, right? Was she trying to frame you? Nah. How? She literally... There's nothing to do with me. Because it, it, the, the nameplate doesn't even say it's in my room. Literally... The only one who's going around even telling people that it was my room is me. I'm the only one. Like, Makoto is the only person going, Hey, guys, it's me. It's my room. It's my room. That's my room, guys. They- she died in my room. If it, if it wasn't Makoto saying that, everyone would just assume that it's fucking Sayaka's room. The easy- like, whatever. It's, like... It's no biggie. But no, Makoto's gotta fucking blabber his mouth and everybody hates him now, or whatever. No, the killer wouldn't bring a weapon. So the gold paint would rub off. Yeah. And the sword has a lot of fucking, like, the, the, uh, so the sword is on, like, a little holder. And the actual sheath, the sheath for the sword is cut up. And the, the handle of the sword has gold missing on it. Like, a lot of gold missing on it. So shit, shit went crazy. Uh, first we need to understand what happened after she- yeah. That's where the answer lies. Okay. What happened then was... Probably... The... Whoever she invited over... Came in and... Attacked her! No... Cause there's no other weapon. We figured it out! We know who did it! No. Whoever she invited over is the culprit! Uh, yes. That- See, that part's true. But we still don't know who it is, you goddamn idiot. <laughs> oh, fucking roasted. Sayaka fought with your killer there in the room, yes? Very hard, yes. Perhaps the answer to our previous question lies in that initial struggle. Okay. Yes, I think you're right. Then... We just have to figure out what happened during the fight, right? Yeah. Well, cause fucking... Cause Sayaka had the soul, uh, the knife. So the other person would definitely go for the sword. That reminds me. There was a replica sword at the murder scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that perhaps used during the fight? <laughs> Sakura. Sakura. You. We. Okay, okay. I'm not gonna lie. In the game, they have not mentioned the sword at all yet. They have not mentioned the sword at all. And we're, you know, we're big brains. You're a bit crazy. I'm just scared the crime scene right now. Well, the thing is, whoever whoever committed the crime, they cleaned the fuck out of that crime scene. Like they literally, they used a lint roller to clean up all the hair to make sure that there was no hair to, as evidence. Oh yeah, 
What's the deal with that sword? Oh, me and Sayaka got it. Sayaka suggested I should hold on to it. I thought it might come in handy if I had to defend myself. Dude, Makoto sounds like he's gonna fucking cry right now. It seems pretty likely that the killer used it to break Sayaka's right wrist. How the hell could you possibly know that's what broke her wrist? Because it was fucking all fucked up, dude. And it just had like a bunch of gold off of it. The reason I know Saka's wrist was broken, this fake sword is- Oh! The- Her broken wrist had gold on it! Her broken wrist had fucking gold on it, I forgot about that. Uh, the wrist... Her wrist- Her broken All wrist had gold flakes on it. Look at her broken wrist, and it should become pretty clear. Right Let's go. Let's go. There's something glittery there. See? It's fake gold from the goddamn sword. Is that gold? Yes, Chihiro. Goddamn real ass gold. 24 karat, bitch. It sure is. Specifically, the gold coating from the replica sword. Yup. You barely have to touch that stuff, and it'll stick right to you. Mm -hmm. She died of plutonium poisoning. Yeah, definitely not a goddamn knife in the stomach. <laughs> and there's some on her wrist because... Because it was hit. I got it! Because she got hit with the sword right there on her wrist! Uh, yeah. I see, I see. And so the truth draws ever closer. Uh-huh. All right, then it's about time to solve this mystery. Uh, oh, huh? Really? We still have a lot of missing pieces, hero. What happened in the room? But it led to Sakura's death. That's what we need to make clear. There's a bit more to learn about the non-stop debates. Would you like to learn more? Go ahead, fucking tell me, dog. Are you getting used to the non-stop debates? Kinda, yeah. Starting with these next debates, you'll start lo loading multiple truth bullets into your truth cylinder. Just like with the weak spots, only one of those bullets can actually refute the, perp the, the proper statement. In other words, from here on out, you'll have to combine the right truth bullets with the right weak spots to refuse each statement. If you come up with the wrong combination, you'll take damage of your influence gauge. Just prepare the LB button. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. LB button to cycle through each bullet. Okay. No, it's not time yet. I'm scared. We're good. There's still lots more of this to go, I bet. I bet. Um, by the way, if the logic difficulty is set to kind, fewer bullets will be loaded into the cylinder. If our purposes... If our purposes... Oh. For our purpose this time, the logic difficulty will be set to mean. Oh. Well then, good luck and uh, have fun. Okay. Replica sword, kitchen knife set, and replica sword sheath. When the fighting broke out, the culprit grabbed the sword. Yes. And that's when the first blow was dealt. Yeah, uh, yeah. A sword based sneak attack. Okay. And that's what broke Miss My Zoner's wrist. Okay. So she tried to fight back. Okay. She grabbed the kitchen knife she had hidden away. Yes. But then the culprit took that from her too. And they killed her with it. Uh, no. And that's exactly what happened. Wait, what? Huh? Person the sword? If the person with the sword really did attack first, there's no- Oh! The certain part of the sword- The fucking sword sheath got damaged. The sword sheath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's when the first blow was dead. Nope, that's nope. Nope. No, 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 no. Oh, fuck, it's why I forgot. No, that's wrong. She attacked with a knife and it hit the sheath because the sheath had Actually, no. damage on it. I don't think the fight started with the sword. It did not at all. <laughs> why not? <laughs> Hero, you goddamn fucking idiot, you stupid bastard, you fucking absolute. Because the sword sheath had been scratched. Yeah, see, it was scratched, dumbass. See? There's a gash in it. Like someone cut into it with something sharp. I'm not gonna lie to you, I actually don't see a gash at all anywhere, but I mean, I'm just, it's oh. plot logic. Oh. So 
something sharp. You mean like the kitchen knife? Yes. That was the only sharp thing found at the scene. See, this is why I use. This is why I made the big brain emote. Mrs. Small Brain. Tell me I got small brain. How oh, dare. Yo! We made a pyramid of big brains! Oh, oh my big brain. Stop jumping ahead. Slow down and explain it so I get what the hell's going on. Oh, Mondo is really slow, isn't he? If the sword was used first, there wouldn't be any explanation for the scratch on the On the sheath, sheath yeah. So it was he was trying to defend. Stop being slow, Mondo. Nah, my big brain. Uh, I'm a big brain. Oh yeah, that's. <laughs> I did say that. If you are going to attack with the sword, you take it out of the sheath first, right? So you, uh, whoever the murderer is, was defending with that's it. That's true. I called it. I called it like way before. <laughs> no duh. Okay, so how did the sheath get damaged? Uh, fucking use your brain, Hifumi. If they got attacked with the kitchen knife. Maybe they grabbed the sword as a defensive impulse. Mm -hmm. In that situation, there wouldn't be any time to actually unsheath the sword. <laughs> Plus, when you're getting attacked like that by someone who invited you over, bro, Sayaka is the murderer. The killer was just defending themselves. Honestly, I'm starting to think about that. I'm starting to think that's what it is. She's a weird bitch. Oh! <gasps> Okay, so this is something that I'm sure that they're going to say way later, but if we keep following down this path, I'm pretty sure that they're going to say, cause I think, I think we're, our hunch is right. Sayaka wanted to leave the, uh, the school as quick as possible because uh, Monokuma was like, oh, you guys aren't killing each other. Oh, I know why, because you haven't been given a motive. And the motive he gave people was uh, these little, like, CDs, these little uh, videos that described what was going on outside of the school. Uh, like, specifically, hey, Makoto, your family's fucking gone. Hum, I wonder what's, I wonder what's going on with your family, Makoto. Don't you want to go out and see what happened to your mama and papa and sis? You know? Hum. And, uh, after... Uh, Sayaka's death we looked at her uh, video she's the ultimate pop star by the way so like she fucking she sucked dick to to get to the top of being an ultimate pop star she had to do some bad shit um, so she she really likes the fact that she's a pop star and she would hate for that to be taken away and all of her friends in that pop group also did the exact same shit um I mean, she literally, she borderline said that last stream. I'm not just pulling that out of my ass. Um, on her CD or whatever, her, uh, what's it called? Her motive. It literally just showed all of her, like, uh, I don't know, pop group. It showed her pop group all, like, fucking knocked out. And, like, on stage, just knocked the fuck out. And, like, Monokuma came up on stage, or whatever, like, on the screen, and he was like, Mmm, what a lovely pop group. I wonder what could have happened to them. I, like, what? I wonder how they could have fallen to this sort of fate. Blah, blah, blah. blah. And after watching it, she went fucking, like, she was like, <laughs> and, like, freaked the fuck out. <laughs> uh, so maybe she wanted... I don't know. I, I don't know if she, like, wanted whoever to kill me or to kill Makoto. So then, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever, let's just keep going. I'm gonna stop talking. We got a lot more game to play. So you're saying the sword was initially used to defend against an attack from the knife? She wanted to kill the person sending the videos. Bro, that's Monokuma. You're talking about the headmaster. You're talking about the person behind the entire killing game. We, we have no idea who the fuck that is, dude. For all we know, it's, it, Monokuma is literally just a robot. And he's he's just like, wants to see us all suffer because it, you know, helps him jerk off at night or some shit. Which means whoever had the kitchen knife 
He's the one who attacked first. Yes, and that was fucking Sayaka. I think I get it. So here's how it all played out. Oh? The person who put all their friends to sleep? Yes, that was Monokuma. He, he knocked them all out. And he... Monokuma kidnapped my whole family. Like, uh, uh Makoto's family. And he... I, I, I got no clue. He probably... Oh! We did. We did talk to, uh... I think it was Sakura. She said that... She said that Monokuma or whoever, like, killed her whole family. Like, straight up killed. Not even a question about it. Like, straight up murdered. And, and Sakura, she's a fucking strong girl. You see her? She, she's like a... Her, her family is nothing but, like, martial artist. She herself is the ultimate martial artist. So, holy fuck, dude. Holy fuck, what does that say about the rest of these people? Goddamn. The culprit came in, found the kitchen knife hidden there somewhere. Maybe she tried to get Monokuma to go to her room to kill him? Nah, that's stupid. No way. No way. That's stupid. Like, literally, in in the fucking uh, ebooks that we were given, like the, these like school rules, if you try to attack a Monokuma, you will die. That's how. Um, okay, so you didn't see this. Okay, just call me stupid. Then I'm sorry. No, 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 no. I know, no, no. The thing is. Earlier, um, Monokuma was, like, just got, he, he, like, just got done explaining the rules of the school and all this stuff, and then he ran towards this girl, uh, named Junko Inoshima. She's the ultimate fashionista, I think, and, you know, just defensively, oh my god, this fucking bear is coming at me, she, like, hit him. And he was like, "Ah, oh, you fucked up now, bitch! And just a bunch of spikes come out of nowhere and just spear the fuck out of her and she died. Like, right in front of everyone. So, so, fighting Monokuma is a big no-no. Junko is the ultimate fud she gives me and gets on my nerves. What do you mean? She's fucking. She's already dead. Doesn't matter. Then they took the knife and attacked Sayaka before she knew what was happening. Taka. Taka really thinks that Sayaka didn't have the knife this whole time. So she grabbed the sword to defend herself, but then the culprit took that from her. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Rose. It's just that you haven't been here. You haven't. You haven't. Uh. You weren't at the first stream. So a lot of. A lot of stuff. It's out of the question. Then, after they broke her wrist with a sword, uh -huh. they took the knife and finished it. You're, you're kind of close, Taka, Sorry, but not really. But I don't think Sayaka used the sword to defend herself. Okay. What? How the hell can you not think that? True. That's honestly a good point, kind of. Because she never held the sword at all. There's a certain part of her body. <gasps> her that her hands. Did. Her hands are completely clean. That's it. Uh, she wanted to use a sword. Uh, palms. You're talking about her palms, right? Yes. Her palms are completely clean. The palms of her hands were perfectly clean. Yes. So I don't think she ever picked up the sword. Huh. How can you know that just by looking at her palms? Because they didn't have gold on it, dumbass. Like I said before. The gold coating on that sword ah, comes right one second. off. Gotta fix my hair. Touch it. Ah, getting all up in my face. If you look, you'll notice that a lot of the gold has already come off the handle. It's safe to assume that's because whoever used the sword got some of it on their hands. <laughs> he really hit her with like, like I said before. Hey man, Makoto, he's like, he doesn't want to repeat himself. There's really no way she could have picked it up and come away completely clean. God damn it, Danny. Because Naiki has a massive hand fetish. <laughs> no. It's just because the... It's... it's. I don't know. Honestly, if I, if I was in this scenario, I didn't think I'd look at the fucking hands either. I don't give a shit. If some girl that was flirting with me straight up got murdered, I would fucking freak out. I wouldn't be the one doing the investigation. Are you kidding me? I wouldn't be the one fucking trying to 
do all this bullshit, I'd be like, I'd be fucked up. Real fucked up. Um, nice Lenny face, Mal. Classic Lenny. There's no real way she picked it up. Maybe she washed her hands after she escaped into the bathroom. No, that's stupid. Why Sorry, would she? But I don't think so. Oh, <gasps> you know the water turns off at night. Why do you say that? Is it because you think I'm ugly? Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. You think I'm ugly? No, that's not it at all. <laughs> Let me just wash my hands real quick. The thing is, the the Monokuma specifically said it said it, they said this a couple times. She's me. Shut up, Danny. Um. The all the water gets turned off at night. There's no way Sayaka washed the gold coating off her hand because certain regulation the water was off. Ouch, Meanie. Well, don't fucking fire, mimic me. <laughs> Not like that. Bro, how do you pee at night and you just sit there? Uh, I mean, there's some people who are just like let it just let let it stay. Yo, how do you flush? Ah, oh, whatever. Girl, say that one more time, I'll make you ugly, SMH. <laughs> yeah, talking about Toko. According to Monokuma Files, it says Sakura's time of death was at, uh, 1.30 a.m. In other words, at night time. And the water in the bathroom shuts off at night time, right? Yeah. Uh, but it's funny, Matt. I'm saying that exactly how you'd say that. Funny. Oh! Toka, we've been here for like th like four goddamn days. You haven't taken a shower? Oh, my. <laughs> Even if Umi's grossed out. You're no different. You smell like a big, fat, ugly donkey. That's rude. Monokuma's playing some sick game. He knows her exact time of death. Honestly, if you if you look all around the school and and like you could see. You're gonna see this for the rest of the fucking stream, or for like for the rest of the game. There's cameras everywhere, literally surveillance cameras in every room, bathroom, fucking, like every room, has a surveillance camera, and monitors for Monokuma to talk to you, and Monokumas. There's multiple. They literally just hop out of nowhere and just can talk your ear off anytime they feel like it. Um. Yeah, this place sucks dick. And if you attack any of them, you fucking die. Or you'll- you will die. Get him, girl. Bro. Hmm? I'm not sure whether to take that as an insult or a compliment. What? An insult, obviously. What the fuck? So anyway, if Sayaka never touched the sword, then that means- she was the first one to attack. The killer is the only one who used the sword. Yes. Uh, hold on. If that's right, then the one who damaged the sheep. Bro, I want to smell like a big, fat, ugly donkey. You know what? Maybe, maybe, a, maybe they smell good. <laughs> is that what Hifumi's trying to say? It's like, mm, yeah, big, fat, ugly donkey smell good. The one who damaged the sheath was the fucking Sayaka. Oh Duh. Sayaka? Sayaka. She had the kitchen knife? <sighs> oh my god. D dude, I just like. I did like eight fucking double takes right then. She went to the kitchen to get the knife. That's like one of the first things we talked about. Nagato Manegi. You motherfucking idiot. Bro, I want to smell like a big fat donkey. I met a donkey. It was loud, uh, but cute and fuzzy. It was a long time ago, though. Baby donkeys, like little baby donkeys, are cute. They are definitely cute. I don't remember how they smelled, though. Oh, I found the angel train in the Grand Canyon. And had to pack donkeys. No, it wasn't a baby. I've been to a couple petting zoos, and they'd have baby donkeys, and they were real cute. They were real cute and sweet. I'd feed him, uh, carrots and these weird little bits. I'm surprised Makoto doesn't realize, oh my god, Sayaka went and got the knife in the kitchen. And she has the knife still? Whoa! But we already said that the attack started with... The knife. The person with the knife attacked first, and the sword was used as an impromptu defense. 
Yes. And the one who attacked first was Sayaka. Sayaka? Sayaka? Now do you understand? She wasn't a blameless victim in this. Oh yeah, of course fucking Kyoko's just known this. No, Whatever. From it. It's almost as if she'd been planning to commit a murder of her own. So did she Oh, she obviously planned to kill the guy. Bro, googling donkey just made me smile. Donkeys are cute. They are cute. They have short legs. They do. They're like corgis of the dogs. The from the kitchen, of do of horses, I mean. The culprit to the room she was staying in. Uh huh. And if it's true that she had the kitchen knife and attacked without provocation, indeed. Big These ears. Are all yeah. The of an assailant. Yeah. Which brings up another point. Nakuto, Sayaka was the one who suggested you two switch rooms, correct? No, I think it was actually me. Maybe the reason she wanted to switch rooms. Baby donkeys are so fluffy. Yeah, see, I told you. Was so that she could pin the crime on you. Hmm? That is a possibility, is it not? Not really, because it's a nameplate thing. That's stupid. Why? Well, oh, oh, was she planning on changing the nameplates back after she killed whoever she was talking to? Ah, you know, that is, yeah, th that's true. But, but it didn't, but it didn't happen. She didn't do that because she got killed. Oh, that's kind of sad. Then swapping back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's dumb. Sayaka wanted to on me? Uh, what? That would also explain why she she wanted to... the name Yeah, to make sure that he could, she could kill them in his room. She wanted to get whoever she had targeted to come to Makoto's room where she was staying. Hmm. And by committing the murder there instead of her room, that would implicate Makoto. Yes. But for that to work, the target had to be lured out while still keeping the room swap a secret. Huh. If the target knew she had switched rooms, they would have become suspicious right away. Yes. So all that's why she switched the names? Wow. But doesn't that plan seem a little risky? There's no shit. It, it literally, it's just like Sayaka or Sayoka or whatever. She's just outright saying, yeah, I think I can kill this guy. Yeah, like, I think I can kill this person. Whoever the fuck the, whoever, whoever the actual murderer is here. Or, it was like, yeah, I, I'd kill him. For one thing, even if her plan worked, Mr. Naegi would just tell everyone they'd switched rooms. Yeah, but you guys didn't really believe me, did you, fucking dickheads? I don't know. I'm not sure our soft-hearted Makoto is capable of that kind of cutthroat behavior. <laughs> oh, definitely not. I'm a- Makoto's a little twink boy. I'm sure Sayaka- Twinky little baby. Which is why, out of all of us, she asked him to switch rooms. It's funny I'm calling Makoto the twink, even though Byakuya here is actually the blonde. Plus, she was the ultimate pop sensation. What does that have to do with anything? A totally forgettable kid, or a national superstar. Who are you more likely to believe? Uh, true. Wait, then, you're saying she had this all planned out? No shit she did, bro. If she didn't, then how would it, any of this happen? Holy shit! <laughs> but in the end, her plan backfired. She launched her attack with the knife, then found herself under attack in turn. That must be when her wrist got broken, and she was forced to drop the knife. I'm not gonna lie, though. Just off of, like, straight people talking, uh, nobody here is really, like not acting surprised. Everybody here is all acting surprised. Of like, oh my god, really? Or like, wow, I didn't, yeah, I didn't think about the that. The tables were suddenly turned on her, and she died at the hands of the one she planned, planned to murder. murder. Yes. Just hold on! That can't be true! How not? How not, Makoto? Because... Because... Yeah. Hey! Hey! You guys have totally derailed. You're being super Oops, my bad. right now. <laughs> Come on, hurry up and decide who did it! Okay. Wouldn't it be awful if I had to punish you all just because you ran out of time? Oh god. Oh yeah, we gotta decide who we think did it. 
Oh, who could it have been? Makoto, right now you just need to concentrate on figuring out the answer to this mystery. I mean, we we have we have so much fucking evidence that we haven't used. The crystal ball from Hero, the fucking the 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 burnt shirt piece that has blood on it from the from literally the attack. Fucking um the trash, the whole that. If we can't uncover who murdered Sayaka, it's over for all of us. Is it really all over? Obviously, I'm committed to finding out who killed her, but what can I do? I mean, as far as clues goes, there's not. What do you mean there's nothing left? We got fucking the crystal ball and all this shit. What if the blood DNA tested and it's not hers, it's the murderer's? I mean, I don't. I, I think if we kind of. If we put. I don't know. I mean, who knows? Oh god, not this shit again, bro. Make your argument. Dying message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He spelled out Leon. It's easy just to say, hey, decide who did it. Hey, Leon. But there just aren't any more clues, right? Yes, there is. Fuck you. No, New Spider-Man way up trailer. Now I'm a nut. Nice. Cool. Trailers are sick. I can't wait until the movie comes out. One clue left. Sayaka's dying message. There's a couple more clues besides that, but I mean, whatever. Dining. Wait, wh what did you say? <laughs> dining? <laughs> Leon, it's funny that you're the one talking now. The dying message. She wrote something on the wall behind her, remember? Yep. One, one, zero, three, seven. Written in her own blood. Leon is the baseball, the ultimate baseball player, yes. Before we get too far into that, I need to ask, can we really be sure that Sayaka is the one who wrote it? Okay, so this is, this is where I, this is what I was thinking. Back before we learned about Hina and Hina being with, like, uh, Sak Sakura and, like, all that stuff. Okay, I just didn't want to Google. Yeah. I, um... I thought, what if, because, you know, Hina, at the time, this is back whenever we were still even, like, getting evidence and shit, I thought, what if Hina went to the room, had that fight, because, you know, they're both kind of athletic or whatever, like, a pop star's probably got some sort of muscle mass, and it being the ultimate swimmer has to mean something, so I thought maybe Hina overpowered her in a fight, and then using, um using uh, Sayaka's hand, wrote Leon in her own blood. Using, like, using her hand. Even though it's it's totally Hina and not Leon, or whatever. There's no question that Sayaka wrote the message with her left index finger. Her left index finger had blood on it. Yes. That could only be because she used that finger to write the message. Or someone using her hand or something. I see. We don't have she like a full right forensics kit here, bro. So she'd have to use her left hand to write. Yes. Sure. I think we can all agree Sayaka wrote it. Oh. But still. Oh, it's funny how Heen is the one saying that, huh? What the heck do those numbers mean? One one zero three seven? Bro fucking literally uh who was it? It was Koyoka, what's her name? The weird, like, Thai girl. Karuya. <laughs> the one, the girl that we don't know what her ultimate ability is yet. She, she told us just flip it upside down, whatever. Like, look at it from her perspective. No, Sakura was with her. Yeah, but I'm, I'm I know, whatever. Kyoko, yeah, Kyoko. I, I'm talking about like, there's a possibility. And plus, they didn't say that- yeah, I don't think it is actually Hina, but I mean, it would be funny if it was. I don't want to rule anything out yet, because we still got a lot more... ...things to go through. Hey, Chihiro. You're a computer nerd or whatever, right? You should know all about numbers and shit. <laughs> no, that's not- Yes, I'm a programmer, Aww. but I don't see any kind of meaning in these numbers. Chihiro's so goddamn cute, dude. I- I love him so much. 
force. It's because they're not numbers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like it Lee like... speak. Huh? What? 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 I'm stupid. Hey, no, it's just a look at the numbers, assuming they're not numbers. Or just fucking flip it upside down, dipshits. I don't these first two, one one, look less like two numbers and more like one letter? You can even see like where. She tried to draw the middle line, but it didn't. She just ran out of blood, I guess. <laughs> oh, you're right. And then the dabbed it back. There, so I assumed it was one one, but looking at it now. Oh god. Chihiro's on the end. <laughs> True. The was she said numbers. Whoa. I'm back. What's up, Rose? You haven't missed much. Shit. We're just figuring some stuff out. We're, we're going over the fact... What if it means Noel? <laughs> Cute. Um... So, we're going over who we actually think killed... Uh... Well, you I mean, who, whoever the fuck this person is. She literally wrote Leon. So... <laughs> Good grace... Sh shut up. But even if that really is an N, N037, doesn't make any more sense than before. Sakura. Stick to being a fucking martial artist, alright? Stick. Stick to being a. Ugh! Why are you sweating, Makoto? Damn it, it's no use, I don't know. Ugh! <laughs> Oh my fucking god. The image 180 degrees. Put it upside down. Put it upside down. Can we just kill what's his name already? Yeah, honestly, it's just fuck. She wrote boobies. It's fucking Leon. Flip it upside down. Huh? Rotate it? I think maybe I see something. Oh my god. Now I see. She wrote down the killer's name. Yeah, fucking literally. Kyoko told us this even before we started the case. How are you so fucking dense, Makoto? Huh? Just shot past the clue part and right onto who did it. Yeah, it's yeah, it's Leon. So whose name did she write? Leon. Oh my fucking god. I'm not gonna do Handman's Gambit, am I? Crystal yeah, it's Leon. Select someone. Where's Leon? Leon! Leon! Where's Leon? I went the wrong way. Leon! <laughs> Kill fanfic man for the hell of it. But he's... He's a, he's a pervert, alright, but he's not the one who killed him. Or killed the Sayaka. Imagine if it was that easy. Yeah, it's just Leon. If he comes the letters... L e o n, as in Lenola. Ah, damn it! Nobody here's named Lenola. Ah, I guess we're all out of clues. We're out of hope. L e o n. Leon. More accurately, Leon. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't look too happy. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Oh, now he looks happy. It's just a coincidence. A fucking coincidence. How? How in God's name is this a coincidence? It's just a bunch of random squiggles that happen to look like my name. You're a fucking idiot. Also, I love how he got all spiky. <laughs> he looks like a fucking like Mario striker or like piece of art. No, it's not random at all. Oh, what is this, like a cutscene? Yeah, it's a, uh, and she blocked it with her body so nobody would see it. It's fucking, uh, fucking Sony are killing me. Yeah, the Spider-Man. Fucking, it's, uh, what Kyoko said, it's a, uh, final message or whatever. Bro, what if I died with D's? Oh my god! Uh, it, it's Rose's final message. Zep. Uh, nobody here's named Zep. Oh my God, we're, we're never gonna find the killer. And as a result, 
when you look at it standing in front of her, it ends up getting clipped. Dude, oh my god, Rose, she she wrote, uh, P-3-3-Z, ah. Oh. Try it for yourself. She'd write, yeah, you would write who. Who like her, cares? Who asked? Layers are inverted, yes. That, that sounds like one hell of a stretch to me. How is that a stretch? Asked. And then you just fucking shit yourself to death. I'm the killer? You can't just go and say shit like that. We just did. What? Leon, you hypocritical fucking bitch. You've been going around saying I'm the killer, or Makoto's the killer this whole time. You fucker. If you're not the killer, then why did you try to destroy the evidence? Huh? Huh? You know what I'm talking about, right, Makoto? The evidence Leon tried to get rid of? Uh... On the ground in front of the incinerator. What the fuck? We're just getting into this all of a sudden? Wait, we're gonna talk eight million years about all this other shit, but we're just gonna... Yeah, yeah, fuck it. Burnt shirt piece. I got it. You mean the burnt shirt piece I found laying on the ground by the incinerator, right? We talk for eight million years about knives and swords and fucking door plates, but the burnt shirt with blood on it we just throw in there. Real quick. As the killer stabbed Sayaka, they must have gotten some of her blood on them. Literally? Literally, if we just fucking brought that up in the very beginning, and we could have we could have just fucking gone, hey, who here has a white button-up shirt? And we could have gone piece to piece. It's like, okay, I, I didn't look like the right size. I don't know. Oh, it's Leon. <laughs> Yes, Sayaka had the knife, and the killer had a sword, and the- uh, But then Sayaka attacked with the knife first, and then the killer- And then there was a piece of paper that I didn't- You know, fucking Kyoko pulled out of her fucking pussy. Like, oh, she invited the killer to come over. Uh. And to dispose of the shirt covered in the victim's blood, they threw it into the incinerator. He- he threw it into the incinerator. Which is literally like, uh, verbatim, the game said that the only person who can, okay, this is, you know what, I'm not even, I'm not even gonna fucking say it. I'm not, I'm not even gonna say it, cause they're gonna, they're gonna spend like 10 minutes going over it. But one piece burned off, and got left behind, and the killer didn't notice. If they had, they most certainly would have panicked. Isn't that right? Leon. Yeah, Leon. Well, the thing is, if the killer is also Leon, he didn't pay a goddamn notice to anything. He fucking, he busted open a door. He fucking didn't look at the, the, the nameplate. Oh, he looked at the nameplates. He didn't look at the room. But is one scrap of fabric enough to conclude that Leon is guilty? The fucking, the trash room, there's a gate that blocks anybody from going in there. And the only person with a key to open up the gate to use the incinerator was Hifumi. And H Hifumi's still alive, so he's the ultimate baseball star. Who would be really good at throwing things into an incinerator from a really long distance away? Baseball boy! Baseball! Base! Oh. Well, we're really talking about the button-up, and not the incinerator, and how it's like, literally between the gate and the incinerator is 30, 30 feet. Okay, yeah, let's talk about the button-up. That, that's right. There are plenty of other people here with shirts like mine. With just that one little charred piece, there's no way you can say for sure who it belongs to. You're right. True. That alone isn't enough. I guess. But there are some other points that may reveal the truth. How it got in there. Are you finally starting to understand? The answers to all Ooh, the riddles this, are right This here. music's making me jitter. Yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah, how to get in there. The very remains of the button-up shirt, which the killer was able to get rid of. He holds his arm up and the sleeve's just gone. <laughs> yeah, did he bring like... Oh, oh, oh shit. Uh, how was this supposed to... 
Where was the how it was disposed of? We look closely at how the shirt was disposed of. We should be able to figure out who the killer is. You mean how it was d fucking burnt? Oh, oh yeah, that's a good point. I, I think I know what you're gonna say. Okay, Leon, go ahead. You can't reach the incinerator without opening the gate in front of the trash room, right? Y yeah. And obviously, you wouldn't be able to hit the switch to turn it on either. Leon. Poor, 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 sweet Leon. You'd. You'd never played Among Us before, have you? You don't fucking tell everyone how you did it. Oh, yeah. Oh. I wonder how we did do it, though. Hmm. You need the key to get in. And yep. the one with the key was the person on cleaning duty. Uh-huh. So the killer had to be whoever was in charge of taking care of the trash. No. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> Interesting. But that's you, Hifumi. Yeah, that's you. <laughs> no, that's wrong. There's another way to use the incinerator. Without being the one in cleaning duty. Swoo Seth Rollins won his match. Hell yeah, let's go, Danny. Clap, clap, clap. Exactly proves Leon's the real killer. The crystal ball. He threw the crystal ball and hit the switch and started the incinerator and then he threw the fucking shirt. And it's the crystal ball. It's the crystal ball. The key to the trash room. Whoever was on cleaning duty must have had it, right? Yes. So the only one who could get to the incinerator was the person in charge of the trash? And you'd have to get close to the incinerator. No, you wouldn't, crystal ball, bitch. You don't have to get close to jack shit. I literally hate all these secure characters except, especially Makoto. Makoto isn't that bad. I think I know how someone could dispose of the evidence without using the trash room key. Okay. I think the only reason why Makoto is so fucked up is because this girl, this girl who's been flirting with him, lied to him. Like, fucking, she died. This is the first time ever seeing a, a dead body. Fucking, he's just, he's, he's all over the goddamn place. Oh, and also, fucking, people are, like, holding back all sorts of evidence here. Like, all sorts of ideas and statements. Um, I don't know. Curie Geary is bae. My poor waifu, though. Bro, you have a literal wife. Danny, what the fuck? What's Monica gonna say about this? But if you can't get past the gate, you couldn't possibly turn on the incinerator, could you? We couldn't, but fucking Leon can. Yes, you could. If you used this. Imagine being married. Ha, got him. What is it? Some kind of glass ball? Yeah. It's busted to hell. It, uh, yeah. Yeah. She doesn't mind that I have waifus, she has husbandos, so... What's me- Dude, who are some of, um... Uh, who are some of her husbandos, dude? But how would you use it? Throw it! You for- <sighs> Chihiro... Chihiro... Please. So I could crush my skull and I'd let her. Nice mouth. <laughs> nice. Mm. Fucking throw oh it. God. The killer simply took aim at the incinerator switch and threw the ball through a gap in the gate. I'm sorry I have to keep taking breaks, but is Leon's only argument going to be uh, that's impossible? How could I have done that? And he's the fucking ultimate baseball star. It's the fortune teller from Animal Crossing. It's the killer. Dude, um, what's his name? Hero, the guy with the big frizzy hair. He's, he's the fortune teller. He's the ultimate, um, what's the word? Mystic, I think? Something like that? All they had to do was hit that switch. Thank you for the hydrate, man. That's a bit... Stop describing shit like poetry, Makoto. Hey, hey, man. Whenever you're the ultimate baseball star, you can do some crazy shit. 
Remember what you said before, Hifumi? Jodoro Kujo, Giorgio, uh, you know Hero from Darling and the Funny, just to name a few. It's just jo Jojo characters. <laughs> Remember what you said before, Hifumi? Oh, yeah, it was on. Huh? Someone turned on the incinerator. Very strange. I'm quite certain it was off the last time I was down here. Perhaps it was the work of a fairy. Hey man, so she watched it with me. The incinerator could have been turned on without his knowledge. If somebody fucking turned it on. It was because the killer was able to hit the switch without opening the gate. Once they got the incinerator going, all they had to do was ball up the shirt and toss it in. Yo. Hey, come on. What the hell is this? <laughs> yeah, you're fucked now, Leon. You're fucked, All dude. You have to do is look at the scene to know that the killer never actually went inside the trash room. Now, uh, now I'm pretty sure we're officially out of fucking. We're out of uh, what's it? Couldn't let Monica Jr. though. She hates blood. Is there even blood in JoJo? I don't even fucking remember, honestly. <laughs> It, uh, now we're all out of evidence. We fucking- it's totally him. The shards of broken glass, the incinerator left running, the piece of shirt that escaped the fire. Just so much blood. I don't remember. Dude, fucking literally the fact that the murder happened in Makoto's room, everybody was just saying Makoto's the murderer. How is- how is everyone not saying that Leon is the murderer now? If the killer had been on cleaning duty, the evidence would have been taken care of much more thoroughly. Wait, wait, no, just hold on. Okay, yeah, well, hold on, Leon. What do you want to say? But the distance from the gate to the incinerator has to be at least 30 feet, right? Yep. The pinpoint accuracy you would need to throw a glass ball that far and hit something that small. Bro, my f bro, we are not going through this, are we? Could someone really do that? Ugh, he's... Are we gonna fucking t talk about whether or not he's the ultimate baseball star, dude? There's no way. It'd be impossible. Dude. God, I really love his voice actor. I love Leon's voice actor so much. And I wish I got more screen time. But, um, he's fucking dead. We're killing him. Difficult. Absolutely. Impossible? I don't think so. Because the killer is... It's fucking Leon. The ultimate baseball star. Because the killer is the ultimate baseball star. Isn't that right, Leon? Yeah. What do you have to say now, pussy? Oh, do you have any idea how stupid you sound right now? <laughs> speak. Speak about yourself. Stop calling the kettle black, motherfucker. A target 30 feet away would surely be little challenge for the ultimate baseball star. Mm-hmm. You, you, you can't be serious. Uh-huh. Yeah? I'm not the killer! Oh yeah, really? Prove it. These goddamn shipper brains have got it all wrong, I'm telling you! Yeah, prove it. You still won't admit it? <laughs> okay then. Makoto, go ahead and review the incident uh, what? one more time to make his crime perfectly clear. Okay. And with that, we can end this. Listen to me! What the hell do you mean end this? <laughs> oh god! I feel so bad, because he's... He really doesn't want to die, does he? Say what you want, Leon. But all the <sighs> questions have been answered. Yep. And the truth has been revealed. Yep. Leon. Now, here's what happened. Leon, I'm sorry. The closing argument is about to begin. Would you like to hear more? Sure. Every case has one last element to bring the case trial to an end. Oh, the class trial to an end. This is the closing argument. In this phase, you'll give a complete survey of the case. You'll have to res you'll have to reproduce the following events of the case in the form of a comic book. However, you'll notice that in the comic, there are a number of pieces missing. It's up to you to complete the comic using the provided truth panels. Also, if you like, oh, if you take aim at the missing section and press the A button, holy cow, you'll get a hint that might lead to a breakthrough. Well then, good luck and have fun. Leon will poke your eyes out with that beard of his. Yeah, man, it's fucking looks like a goddamn. Ooh, looks like a what's it called? Porcupine. Uh, Leon going into her room. Uh, then we have. 
Uh, what's next? Uh, him getting knocked into the sword. Him blocking with the sword. Taking off the sheath, hitting her. Uh, uh, him about to kill her. Uh, her going into the thing. Uh, uh, her dropping the knife? Him grabbing the knife? What the fuck is going on here? But I thought she locked the door. What's the point of... What the fuck? What? We're just skipping past a whole huge chunk right here. That's weird. Um, then him stabbing her, yes. And then she writes her name, or the uh, Leon's name. Yo. Um, him grabbing the lint roller. The, the ball. Then. The, wait, there, there's the screwdriver though. Oh no, do I need to go back and do the screwdriver? Oh, is this the screwdriver? I don't know. The, the, this could be either or. Um, I think, you know what? I'm going to say this is a screwdriver. Because that makes more sense to me. Um, what's next? And we got, uh, the ball. Yeah? The killer is you! Killer is you! I think I'd better take one more look back at the case from the beginning. Okay. Last night, the killer went to the room Sayaka was in. Okay. In other words, my room. Yes. From what we can tell, Sayaka invited that person there intending to kill them. She attacked them with the knife she'd taken from the kitchen earlier. Yes. Got knocked on the thing. Blocked the knife with the sword. Then something happened that she wasn't prepared for. They grabbed the fake sword I put in my room and fought back. Holy shit, dude. Say, oh, Sayaka, no! A strike from the sword broke Sayaka's right wrist. Done. And that's when she lost her grip on the kitchen knife. Ah, oh, dude, was it the drop? Oh, no, it wasn't. Okay, good. Sayaka panicked and ran into the bathroom. Dude, I didn't even notice that. She had dropped the knife in that scene previously. I guess I got it right then. Okay, I'm good. Click, 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 click. And then the screwdriver. But couldn't get the bathroom door open. What they didn't know was that my bathroom door got stuck easily. And there was a trick to opening it. Sayaka knew about that because I told her. But of course the killer had no way of knowing. Dude. If if they didn't go and get the screwdriver, for all we known, Sayaka would have just still been alive with like the hurt wrist stuck in the bathroom. That's fucking weird to me. Think about like a different, like an alternate reality where they didn't keep trying to kill him. Oh, <gasps> it's probably because Leon was like, "Oh yeah, this is a perfect chance for me to fucking kill her and then get the fuck out of here." Like self-defense, whatever. Fuck it. And stab Sayaka. Oh, so much blood. But with what strength she had remaining. Sayaka left a dying a message. message. That's what it's called. The killer from noticing, she wrote it on the wall behind her. <laughs> She's fucking trembling. <laughs> and with that, all her strength was gone. <laughs> dead. With Sayaka dead, the killer quickly began destroying the evidence. The lint roller. Bullshit. First, they took off their shirt, which was covered in their victim's blood. Then they took the lint roller in my room and cleaned up the entire area. They wanted to make sure they got rid of any trace they'd ever been there. After
afterwards, the killer headed to the trash room to destroy their bloody shirt. Uh -huh. They tried to burn the shirt using the incinerator there, but the trash room was blocked off by an especially sturdy gate. Oh, my bad. I skipped it. So they came up with a plan to use Hero's crystal ball, which he left in the laundry room. Whoosh. The killer managed to throw the ball through the gap in the gate and hit the incinerator switch. Through the gap in the gate, over 30 feet, and hit the itty bitty fucking green button on the thing. For any normal person, that'd be an impossible throw. But the killer had the confidence to take a shot. And that's because the killer was the, was the ultimate, ultimate baseball, baseball star. Hiya! The crystal ball with absolute precision hit the switch on the incinerator dude even the fact that he did that just to get rid of the evidence that's like he could have just flushed the fucking he could have flushed the to fucking shirt down the toilet and nobody would have known he created more like he, he created more bullshit fucking evidence by him trying to get rid of his already evidence <laughs> BRB, I'm gonna go cry. Liam's my favorite person. He's my personal favorite. Dude, your personal favorite is a psycho! And he also kind of went to a lot of lengths of getting rid of it. Scorpio. Yo, what's up, dude? Hi, hi, hi. I'm Captain Mini. We're, we're, we're playing Dog and Rampa. You're a bit late, but better late than never, I guess. Ding! Eh! What? That's not right. I is here to replace Toka because I already had, because I already want to become a writer. Huh. Wait, so what did I do wrong? Oh, I fucking I I, I switched around the order. Here, let me. It's <laughs> he throws it into the fire. My bad. And then it becomes smithereens. There we go. That's the right one. Ah, of course I fuck up the literally the the only two that I knew. Damn it. Hit the switch on the incinerator, which then Danny. quickly roared to life. Quickly roared to life. I almost got a per fucking perfect, but no, I dicked it up. Just barely. Yeah, there you go. Mood. <laughs> Having destroyed the it happens. Piece of evidence, they left the area with Here's exactly what happened. <laughs> a sigh of relief. But there was one thing they missed. It's the one little piece of clothing. Part of the shirt they'd thrown into the fire burnt away and fell out of the incinerator. The killer didn't notice this, and so left behind a piece of indisputable evidence. It's you! A lot of people's favorite is Celeste. I'm right? happy to hear about that. Leon? Leon. Ah, Leon, no. It would appear that Hero simply forgot his crystal ball in the laundry room. You know what? I didn't even get to fucking talk to Leon at all, really. She ain't my favorite. I know that, Danny, because your favorite's, uh... Uh... Ki Kiroko? Ki Kyoko. Kyoko. This is my first time ever playing Danganronpa, by the way. Uh, Scorpio and all that, so no spoilers. No, 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 no spoilers. You went there to try and wash the blood out of your shirt, and that's where you saw it, right? Seeing the ball, you thought of a way to take care of everything. Oh, that's interesting. I never really liked most of the characters in the first game. Hmm. Uh, that makes a lot of sense to me, actually. So he went to the laundry room to clean his clothes, but he forgot that the water was off. And the crystal ball was there, so he's like, ah, fuck it, I'll just do that then. So, Leon, do you object to anything that's been said? Do I object? I don't, I don't know if after I beat the first game, if I'll play the other, like, two. I'll, uh, I'll have to think about it. Hell yes, I object! Of course I do! I object, I object, I object! God, Leon. Oh, no. I mean, all of this is just a bunch of stupid theories. You need evidence. Where's the evidence? We've, we've been saying nothing but evidence, Leon. Without evidence, it's all bullshit. Oh. It's bullshit, and I refuse to acknowledge it. Just hit the button already. Just fucking... Just everybody vote for Leon. Well, vote him I off the island. As good a time as any to present the evidence that proves you did it. 
What? Makoto, I believe you're in possession of that evidence. Uh. Uh. Yeah, calm down, Leon. Jeez, what's the evidence? Yeah, like, I think. Oh, uh, uh bullet time. Shit, the fuck is that? So, I'm really sad. I don't think Rose is here to see any of this. She'll just have to watch the VOD or some shit. God, God, she was the one that, that was like most eager to see how this played out. Because I think, Mal, you've seen the game already. You already know what's going on. Like, same thing with you, Scorpio, and all that. So I don't know. Um, bolt time battle. She had to tell me about it. Okay. Sometimes during a class trial, your opponent simply won't want to hear what you have to say. When this happens, you'll engage them in a head-to-head -head battle. I know characters, that's about it. I've ah, seen the animo, that's about- Oh! Huh? Thank you for the follow! Who followed? Here, let me- I gotta alt tab real quick. Thank you, thank you Scorpio for the follow. It's really sweet. Thank you, thank you. I hope you enjoy your time here and I hope you like being a crewmate. Newly found crewmate. Wink, wink. Um, we like to refer to this as bullet time battle. AKA the BTB BTW. I played, read the mangas, and watched the animes. I'm a big fat fan. <laughs> no spoilers. No spoilers. I, I love I love this game already. It's like really fucking cool. Uh, during the BTB, you want to destroy your opponent's statements in time with a rhythm. Ooh, I'm, I'm pretty okay at rhythm games. Uh, match your button presses with the tempo markers as they move across the screen and reach the center. Ah, okay. Press the A button to lock onto an opponent's statement. Okay. Destroy that statement that you've locked on with the Y button. Okay. Use this method to deal damage to your opponent. If you can pull it off, you'll be... Oh, if you can't pull it off, you'll be the one in pain, okay? So A to lock on, Y to shoot. Do this consecutively and you'll start a combo. Keep this going and you'll in... in to get the tempo... A tempo... Initiate a tempo up. There's been no new games, so I've taken it upon myself to make my own Danganronpa's... Dangan stories, Lamal. Eh, it happens. Whenever you get so infatuated with the fan base or with the... With the, um... A video game or something that you kind of make your own little fanfics and things. Uh, on the flip side, if you keep missing, you'll get the tempo down. <laughs> okay. When the tempo changes, uh, so does the timing for hitting each button. So watch out for that. Okay. I could have sworn they were making a new game though. Matt wants fanfics. Shush, Danny. <laughs> they they they're making uh they're making Dungan Rampa fan stories and things. I was just joking about actual, like, fanfics. That's doofy. Dealing up damage to your opponent and their weak spot statement will appear. At that point, you can press the Y button to shoot down a truth bullet like any other statement. Refute their statement fast enough and you'll become victorious. Okay. Uh, so it's just shooting. Oh, Dangan Rumpus? The Rumpa S? That's a spin-off. No, no, no. I mean, like, they're making, like, a weird baseball one. It's like a bunch of, like, every kind of, um, I don't know the word for it, but every, there's a bunch of different cities and things in, like, Japan. I want games like this. Yeah, like actual Danganronpa games. It's sad. Well then, uh, good luck and have fun. When the right. door removed the screws from the doorknob, they didn't use anything from your room to do it. Oh, they're talking about the toolkit. Instead. They must have used something that belonged to them. The toolkit that comes in every boy's room! And the screwdriver, where else would they get a screwdriver? They use something of their own to remove the screws. What could it have been? To acknowledge you. You're stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. <laughs> stupid, 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 stupid! Oh shit. Stupid, 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 stupid. Oh. <laughs> I'm a big murder mystery fan. I I'm having fun with it so far. I have to show ins ins indisputable evidence that Leon is the killer. All right, let's go. I'm ready. All right, so how do I do it again? It's like tap, 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 tap. 
Strike. Where's your proof? Man, toolkit, bitch. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. The screws on the bathroom doorknob were removed. Yeah, with a toolkit. A toolkit that only boys have. Where's your toolkit? Show us your toolkit. A screwdriver. You know what? Honestly, they could have just used. Makoto's, the one that was in that room, but they literally, they thought to themselves that it, that, that room had to be Sayaka's, so it wouldn't have a toolkit in it. So funny. I mean, Just the juxtaposition of that. Right? Of course Mondo would think it's a, like, yeah, it's a screwdriver, right? I use it shit on my bike all the time. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure the toolkits we got each had one inside. Yes. That must be what he used. There aren't any other tools anywhere. But the toolkit in my room had clearly never been used. Because, I mean, he thought it was Sayaka's room. That's because the culprit didn't know it was your Got room. him. Yeah. They, they were in Sayaka's room. Yeah. Oh, the boys got toolkits, so the killer naturally assumed there wouldn't be one in there. Okay. I mean, rightfully so. And whose toolkit did the killer use? Their own. Stupid, stupid, stupid! Oh. They're on. Their very own. They're very own. Let's see it. Stupid, 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 stupid. Let's see it, Leon. Leon, would you mind showing us your toolkit? Show us your toolkit. If I'm right about this, then. Yeah, I bet. I bet he took the fucking wrapper off of it, dude. The Saran wrap. The screwdriver will show some evidence of being used. Let's see it. Come on, Leon. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Yeah. If you say you used it for something else, you'll have to explain exactly when, where, and why. Yeah, man, just come you just come up with a reason for why you used We're not gonna talk about how she wrote your name or about the fucking baseball throw or any of that shit. Or the blood or the the, the fact that you're being such a big baby right now. Just show us the screwdriver, bro. And let me say this right now. Uh-huh. I lost it isn't an excuse at this point. Yeah, let's see it, bro. Stupid. 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 Leon, no. <laughs> he, he didn't even like try to kill her in the beginning. He literally was attacked by Sayaka, and he's just defending himself. But then he kind of got a little bit crazy, and you wanted to kill her. Yeah, I can't really say he's innocent. I really can't say he is. He he did break into the bathroom. God damn it, Leon. Well So you have no rebuttal? Well Then it would seem we are finished here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, but I mean, like, he he really went out of his way to try to kill her. He got the whole fucking screwdriver and everything. Final result, A, for assimilation. Ooh, 80 fucking coins, dude? I can buy so many prizes. Sick. Ooh, I got achievements, too. From, con not from concentrate? Huh. <laughs> Looks like you've reached your verdict. Yes. Then are we ready to cast our votes? The sad thing is, Leon could have stopped when he broke her wrist, but he kept going. Yeah, that's what I, I... I was saying that earlier. I was like, only if there was an alternate timeline where he, like, stopped. And then, you know, he just let her stay in the bathroom. And then, like, the next morning, he explained to everybody, Hey, she invited me... Huh? Matt, give me your tuck. What do you want my tie for? It's mine. It's my tie. 
You all have a lever what do you need it for? You. Use it to make your selection. Because it's hip and gamer. No, it's mine. It's my red tie. It's my maroon tie, and you can't have it. Oh, just to remind you all. Y yeah. Make triple sure you vote for someone. You wouldn't want to be punished for something so minor, right? Worth a shot. Well, I mean, if you gave me a really good reason for why you needed it, then maybe. And I have a couple, you know. I don't I don't only just have this one. I got a, I got a few copies. Okay, then let's get excited! Yeah! Let's vote out Leon! We, fight, we figured him out. Will you make the right choice? Or the dreadfully wrong Because I love you, bro. Oh, I love you too, Danny. Well, the thing is... If we didn't choose Leon, and if we didn't vote out Leon, we all would fucking die. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Do I get to vote, or is it just a cutscene? Who is found guilty? It is Leon, Leon, Leon! Uh-huh. Uh-oh, looks like you got it right on the money. The black end in this case, the one that killed Sayaka, was none other than Leon Kawada. Huh? Uh, st uh, where am I? He's dissociating, dude. Hey, He's gone. He, uh, hold on a second. Leon. Leon, did you really kill Sayaka? But... I don't believe it. You son of a bitch. Son of a bitch? What the hell is wrong with you? I, I didn't have a choice. What? Yeah, you did, dude. It, it was kill or be killed. So that's why... I, I killed her first. None of you are any different. Whoa. One wrong step and you'll be the one standing here. It was compl complete chance that I wound it up like this. I was just <laughs> unlucky. That's all. Hey, come on! You expect me to just accept my death? No. Oh. Uh, I got it right. Turns out a bee didn't kill Sayaka. You just accept my death. Yeah. Well, I mean, you fought back, dude. You broke her fucking wrist. That was it. She was done. Everything became clear. The decision we made was right after all. But when I think about that, honestly, I prefer it if we'd been wrong. Because if what had come... Because what have come up with really is the truth. Because if what we came up with was really the truth... Then the truth is that Sayaka was trying to frame me, but even if that's true, I can't say she was wrong. After all, the mastermind, it's all because of that video. I didn't even, uh, I couldn't even handle what I saw in there. If I was her, and the video actually had something to do with me, I couldn't even imagine. Now we're trapped here, with no way out. They're probably waiting for me. What? I can't afford to be stuck in here. Ah, uh, the one thing is the one thing that was more important to her than anything else: her dreams, her friends, her pop group. <laughs> to have to see something like that happen to them, and Sayaka. I did whatever it took to reach that dream. I mean, even some things that weren't so pleasant. This is the whole, like, uh, implied dirty deeds done dirt cheap that she did. <sighs> and that's why Sayaka, for the friends that meant so much to her, that's why she betrayed me. Yep, D4C, I need, I need to catch on to that. So when she said, It was a lie. Those were crocodile tears. 
She was lying to me from the very beginning. She was using me. And that's... Is that why she talked to me in the first place? I... I guess I'll never know. Because there's... Nothing I can... Sorry, I was reading a text message. Because there's nothing I can do to ask her what she was thinking. Once you're dead, that's it. Boy, howdy! The entertainment industry must be sure terrifying, huh? I mean, to try and kill someone just because of those relationships. She seems so nice and lovely on the outside, but inside, she descended into pure madness. Huh. What did you say? I understand, I really do. Yep, yep. You're in utter despair thanks to Sayaka's betrayal, right? Compassion, intimacy, love. The stronger those feelings, the stronger the despair when they collapse. Stop screwing with us. This is all your fault. Sayaka being forced to do something like that. All of it. Everything. It's all your fault. Suddenly, in a frenzy, I lunged at Monokuma. But... That's enough. Oh. As angry as I was, Kyoko latched onto my arm without hesitation. Her grip was like iron. Strong enough, I sh What? Strong enough, I was sure it would leave a bruise. Oh! Ducky! Ducky with the raid! Ducky! Thank you so much! We just got done, um, doing this big brain class trial in, um, Danganronpa. So, so sorry. So sorry if you if you guys stay here. Um, you're about to get major spoilers for the first whole, like, chapter of the game, I guess. Um, my bad. Quack, quack, quack. Oh, thank you for the 100 bits. Sped, sped, what? Spedgelzilla. Spedgelzilla. Oh, wait, Ducky. How was, uh, how was your Mario Party game with the, uh, what's his name? Frame rates. Like badge. Oh, Spadge. Spadgezilla. I got you, I got you, I got you. I see. <laughs> Let's do the funny hype train? No. It was so funny. OMG, I got too passionate. <laughs> you can't get too passionate with Mario Party. Honestly, I love Mario Party to, to death. It's like one of my favorite games. <laughs> no, not hype train. Let's not do the hype train thing again. We are good. We are good. We don't need hype train. Thank you for another 100 bits. Spadzilla, please. If you really want to make her enemies pay for what they've done, you need to let it go for now. I have started this, and I am proud. <laughs> Shush. Damn it. Enjoy your 33 Australian cents. Yes, thank you. I'm gonna eat them up. I'm gonna I'm gonna use that those cents to save up. I'm gonna put it in pi piggy bank, and maybe get some like ramen with it or something. Accept the love, Matt. Ugh. Ugh. I'll accept your love, but not your money. Ugh. 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 Five gifted subs. Oh, my brain. Ah, oh, my noodle. So much funnier when someone other than me gets money. Shut up, Danny. Thank you. Thank you, Spadzilla. I hope all of you people are so happy to get these gift subs. Five, five tier one gift subs. Plethora 13, Axolotl, Diamond Hail, Deadly Use, Co Colon Searcher? I don't think I've seen them in chat very... Probably. Thank you for the sub. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Damn it. Ah, oh, that was a close one. I thought for sure you were gonna give me a good wallopin. Ooh, thank you. This is just thanks, thank you. Just barely avoided punishment, you did. Now then, since you are so mag magnificently revealed the identity of the killer during this class trial, the blackened Lian Kuwata will receive his punishment. Huh? 
Bro, I'm deadass still smiling because Rose gifted me a sub. Yo, dude, Rose is the fucking sweetest. She's, she's, a, she's a big sweetie. See, it's, it's the small things, you know? Like, it, why are the gifts... Oh! Oh, these are follows! Oh, I'm a fucking idiot! I kept hearing the notifications and I was like, Oh, man, I'm getting a lot of... There's a, a lot of gift subs. <laughs> thank you for the follow, Plethora. Thank you for the follow, uh, Spadzilla. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sorry. <laughs> I was I was too busy uh reading. Uh thank you. Who else followed? Uh Oh yeah, Scorpio. Scorpio earlier you followed. My bad. Um I only have one um what's it called? I only have one monitor, so I have to do everything th just through one screen. Fucking default dancing right now because you deserve it, Matt. Thank you. Give Matt all the money. Nah, 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 nah. nah. Just be here. Just being here is enough. You don't got to give money or nothing. Uh, yeah, Rose is a sweet pea. Rose is great. Alright. I hope none of you are squeamish. Because, um... Knowing Monokuma's past antics, this punishment's gonna be horrific. Pun punishment? Yeah, sorry, Leon. You, uh... You defended yourself and then tried to kill Sayaka. Um... Uh, it's been nice knowing you. You mean... Execution? Yeah. Wait a second. Yeah, you're gonna die, buddy boo. I didn't have a choice. I had to kill her. Yeah, that's it. I was just protecting myself in the heat of the moment. It, it was self-defense. Okay? Exactly. Oh, how exactly was it self-defense? Hmm. When you forced your way into the bathroom, did you or did you not use your own toolkit? After she'd shut herself in the bathroom, and you went out of your way to head back to your own room, then came all the way back, broke into the bathroom, and killed her. Am I wrong? Do you understand? You had m you had any number of chances to stop what you were doing, but you chose not to. Is it not because you had an unclouded intent to commit murder? So, that's no, that's not. Stop it. I've had enough of this. Oh. Oh, are you sure? You were closer to her than anyone, were you not? He killed your precious Sayaka, do you understand? I can't say Leon is solely to blame. Of course, I don't blame... Oh, I don't plan on blaming Sayaka either. Because... Because the one to blame is him. Swa? <laughs> what? If it weren't for you, this never would have happened to Sayaka or Leon. We shouldn't be fighting each other. We should be fighting against the one who put us in this situation. The mastermind. Uh-oh, did you awaken your sense of justice? Well, it just so happens that there's nothing more unethical than an unwavering sense of justice. After all, it's people that... It's people with that sort of mentality that pers that, that perpetuate war all over the world. Hmm. Is that the kind of justice that's awakened within you? Just shut up. Hmm. Okay, well, anyway, more importantly, Girls, let's hurry up and get, <laughs> get on to what everyone's been waiting for, the punishment. Thank you so much for the raid, Ducky. I'll make sure to uh, make it up to you later. Uh, I hope the... I hope you won the Mario Party game. I, I have a feeling I think you might have. Uh, I don't know, it's just in my head, I think you did. Um, but yeah, please. Um, if you if you don't want to be spoiled for Danganronpa, I'd say please just, just do yourself the favor. Leave the stream. Uh, either watch the VOD or play the game yourself. It's a great, it's a great game. Thank you, thank you for the shout out, Dan uh, Danny. I forget about doing that all the time. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm kind of in the heat of the moment. Like, shit's actually, like, getting really good in the game right now. <laughs> I'm really excited. Um, so, yes, please do yourself a favor. Like, uh, I don't know, like, lurk or something. Or, like, just, like, look away from the screen. Um, yeah. All right, let's get into it, I guess. Because I, I, I'm assuming this is spoiler territory, right? Like, this has to be. Because we're, we're already that far in the game. 
Leon, I'm sorry, bro. You're so cool. Your hair's so cool. But, like, you murdered a chick. You murdered a girl, bro. You you kind of deserve this. Hey, come on now. No more begging. No more excuses. You must pay the penalty for breaking the rules. Society demands it. Stop. Please. Oh, Leon, no. Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment. For Leon Kawada, the ultimate baseball star. No, no, no. Leon, no! I feel so bad for him, dude. I honestly feel for Leon. I'm, I'm, I love him. He's great. He might be like a one of my favorite characters. Let's give it everything we've we've got. got. It's punishment time! No! God, God, that scream! Ugh, give me, sh give me chills. Game over. Leon has been found guilty. Time for the punishment. Hey! Actual cutscene! That's cool. Oh, wow. The, a lot of art. Oh, shit. Oh, they're dragging his ass. Holy fuck, dude. He's gonna have a horrible rug burn on his ass. What the hell is that? Ooh, kind of bondage bullsh- What the fuck? Is that a machine gun? Oh, it's, uh, one of those, um... It's the baseball launchers. The thousand blows. Oh, right in the dick? Oh, no, right not in the dick. Oh, God. Oh, it is a- it's a baseball machine gun, Jesus Christ! He looks like he's taking it okay, though. I mean, it's- oh, that's a lot of blood, actually. Yeah, it's like a lot of- no, he looks fine. Oh. Oh, god, right in the head. Oh, no. How's he looking, huh? New coat of paint on good old Leon? Oh, god. <laughs> Now's not the time! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Bunk! <laughs> Leon! God damn it, dude. Why? At every, like, really seriously sad moment, it's always just the fucking. Bunk! Uh, no, last time it was the Pufferfish, whenever we played, uh, Little Nightmares. Holy shit. What we saw. That was the true face of despair. I mean, if we couldn't call it that, what else could we call it? Up uh, murder. Extreme. Death. Woohoo! Extreme! <laughs> Man, my adrenaline is pumping right out of control! Rightfully so. W what is going on? I, I can't uh, I, take it. Oh, hey, you actually said the line. I can't take this anymore. Do we really have to keep doing this? I, I just can't take it. Well? well, hey, if you don't like it. <laughs> all you gotta do is just swear to cut it all ties with the outside world. And accept living here forever. But that's only if every single one of you can get on board with that. <laughs> Damn you! Man, fuck you! Why the fuck are you doing all this evil shit to us? What the heck? Evil? You make it sound like I'm some dark, awful, secret society type of guy. Say what? Or in this case. A dark, awful, secret society type of bear. Well... Um, so what are, So why are you putting... So why are you putting an upstanding young citizen like me through such a grueling ordeal? Hey, um... It seems like you're trying to use some common sense to make sense of something that doesn't make sense. That's like trying to put a mile on a scale. 
I just don't think it's possible. Hey, uh, I don't think what <laughs> I don't think what you're saying and what I'm saying quite fit together. You piece of shit. Oh shit, I skipped my own lines. No! <laughs> piece of shit. That's all you gotta know. You just called him piece of shit. <laughs> you must really hate me getting so angry. <laughs> you really hate me to get so angry, huh? I'm teasing him. Don't. Don't hit him. Don't. Uh, fucking Mondo, don't do it. You'll end up like fucking, uh. Junko. J Junko. But if. But if you do that. You're barking way up the wrong tree! <laughs> what happened, happened because more than one of you decided you wanted to get out, right? No matter how much time passes, you can't cut free of your regrets from the outside world. You're to blame. Of course we can't cut free of the outside world. We're being trapped in some insane- what? Being trapped inside of this insane place. Hmm, you're trapped, are you? Well, I'm sure once you learn all the mysteries of this school, you'll- your thinking will change for sure. You'll think, boy, isn't it so wonderful how we're all- we all get to live here forever? What does this mean? What are you trying to say? Hey. I feel like there's some deeper meaning hidden in here. Hidden in there. Just oh. like- Oh. Just like before. Anyway, let's get to the Blacken's Punishment. That's what everyone is waiting for, after all. Hey. When you say everyone, who exactly are you referring to? <laughs> Sorry, I said everything. <laughs> I said everything I've got to say. I need to save some for the fun. Wait, I need to save some of the fun for later. God. And just like that, he was gone. He left us there, overwhelmed by a nightmare turned reality. Is that it? The end of chapter one? Even after he was gone, we stood there forever, unable to move. Actually, no. It wasn't that long, I think. Everyone just lost their sense of time. We were all too scared. Scared of being alone. Oof! Damn it, Danny. This is not the right time. Everybody's all fucked up because literally four people died in like one day. Wait, no, no, no. It was three. Three people died in one day. It was, um, Junk. Uh, no. It was Sayaka died, then Junko died, and then Leon died. Ah, oh, funny voice for five minutes. How about I just do whoever talks next for the next five minutes? God damn it. Fucking had to be Mondo. Fucking shit. Fuck. Sucks ass. <laughs> Fucking Mondo. <laughs> Alright, okay, do you have a different voice you want me to do? Because Mondo is going to fuck my voice up. Like, literally. I'm going to be so raspy. I already kind of am. Because I don't want to do Mondo. <laughs> Anything but Mondo, dude. Kermit motherfucking frog! <laughs> you know, I'll just make Makoto Kermit. No one even tried to speak. Their faces were stone. Your voice is dead. But it was in that moment. Just a second. Just a second. Makoto, can I talk to you for a second? Thank you for the hydrate. Here, let me actually do another one. She moved in close and whispered into my ear. Makoto. Before we head back. Yes, Miss Piggy? There's something I want to talk to you about. Hmm. It's about Sayaka, isn't it? I'm surprised you figured it out. Listen. I told you before the class trial started. You had to figure out what the mystery of the case was yourself. Oh. Ugh. You wanted me to realize how Sayaka betrayed me by myself, didn't you? Danny, please. This is serious. The thought never even crossed my mind. I feel like such a fool. Becoming such an easy target like that. It's true. Sayaka meant to double cross you. That's a fact. That's a fact that you can never change. 
But even till the very end, she wasn't sh she wasn't sure of her decision. That's why. As she lied dying, she was thinking of you. She she was thinking of me? You can't just say something like that. I mean, there's no way you could know that, Danny. Oh no, it's Mal. Stop! <laughs> I'm trying to read. You know what? Maybe I should turn off the more wacky sound alerts while playing Danganronpa. Because, I mean, like, you know, it's a serious situation, bro. Anyway. Only Sayaka would know that for sure. And we can't even ask her now. However, Even if you can't ask her, you can infer it, don't you think? Her final thought was how she could protect you. What? Where, where, where is this coming from? What? So... The fact that she used her last ounce of energy to leave her dying message proves it. Oh! Oh my god, that's so big brain! I didn't even think about that. If... If Sayaka really did want to pin the blame on Makoto... She wouldn't. She would have just left, without. Um, she would have left without putting the Leon note there. But no, she wanted everyone to know that Leon was the one who killed her. So she wrote his name. Wow. Wow. Holy shit, Kyoko is actually big brain. I I don't have a big enough brain for that, bro. I didn't think about that. The fact that she used her last ounce of energy to leave her dying message proves it. If she didn't care about what happened to you, she never would have left that message. Matt, weren't you ending? Uh, whenever I get the next chance to save the game, honestly. Because I am... I... I don't know what it is about Danganronpa, but I always go way too fucking over. Like, I literally, last stream... I... It was like a 6 hour and 30 minute stream. <laughs> or 5 hour and 30 minute. Well, maybe she just wanted to get back to that the person who killed her. Certainly. That's certainly one possibility. But uh, I don't think that that's what it was. Anyway. She was uncertain. She wasn't sure she could kill someone or deceive you. Which is why her plan failed. Okay, because I want to go lay in my pit. But I'm waiting until you end because of friendship. Hey man, you can go get in your pit right now. And just keep the stream on or whatever. It's just like lurk, you know? No, no, no. <laughs> Her hesitation attracted failure. I'll be here. Aw, oh, cute. Right. Cute, that's true friendship. <laughs> it's almost ironic when you think about it. Why are you telling me all this? Because you're the kind of person who can overcome this. Because you can move past the deaths in your friendships. Although I need to piss, BRB, go pee-pee. So you yeah, and Leon, and keep moving forward. Correct. Without someone like that, the other reward, the others would never be able to break free of such a depressive situation. Oh, desperate situation. My bad. Move past their deaths? That's... I could never do that. Oh, dude, my phone's about to die, too. No. I'm going to carry them with me for the rest of my life. How could I possibly move past something like that? Uh, what did I start doing the Kermit voice? I was like, f I, I'll, I'll keep going till like 19, like uh, 10, 19. Leon, Sayaka, I'll carry them with me forever. I'll carry their memories with me. Where are I go? Miss Piggy. So instead of forgetting them, you've chosen the hard road. <laughs> well, I have high expectations for you. As she said that, she revealed the smallest smile. By the way, I have to admit it. I'm curious. How did you know I wanted to talk to you about Sayaka? Oh, well... I'm psychic. What? Huh? Kidding. I just have pretty good intuition. <sighs> God. God, that's an amazing way to end, to end the chapter. The, same, the thing that fucking Sayaka said over and over and over. Of course, it's the thing that he... Oh, my God. Is it... 
If it just cuts to the ending of the chapter thing, I'm gonna be so happy. I knew it, bro. Chapter one, to survive. The end. Three deaths. <sighs> to be continued. Next time. Despair bat. Ugh. <laughs> One is the loneliest number. One is the loneliest number you can ever know. Two is just as bad as one. Da, 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 da. Wow. Good shit, dude. And I think that'll be it for us today. We have streamed for a good five hours and 20 minutes. We, that's it. We, we learned, like just last stream, we learned about Sayaka's death and this stream, we have completely come to terms with it. Um, this is going to be the end. Nice, dude. Danny, you missed it. I don't I don't even remember if you were here last stream, Danny. But something that Sayaka kept saying while um while we were with her and like she was flirting with us and stuff is that she she could like like read our minds and that she was a psychic. And like, ah, oh, just kidding, it's I have really good intuition. And we said that to Kyoko. And it was it was really good. It was really nice. It was a really good way to end things. Um well, yeah, that was fucking awesome. Dude, the fucking... The controller and mouse... Uh, the keyboard and mouse controls of this game are kind of fucking awesome. Also, that door shadow does not make sense. I'd smash the Ayaka. God damn it, Danny. Shut the fuck. <laughs> uh, well, you don't need to anymore. She's already dead. She, she's probably already been crushed in, like, a fucking trash compactor or something. No one... No one this thing... Lee, let me have my wife who's mm, you're gonna say that in front of your wife you're gonna say that in front of Monica that you'd smash uh, Sayaka it's pretty creep it's pretty sus bro <sighs> anyway that's gonna end it let me go ahead and uh, here let's go to the main menu it's like a nice way to end it shit <laughs> return to main menu yes like I said, she doesn't mind. Mm-hmm. The fact that you literally said... You gotta see if you changes. Sure. Okay. Um, she does not messing around. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Hey, yo. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 What a fucking amazing stream, bro. I- I love... Danganronpa is so fucking much. Such a good game. Um, and I've only played... I've only been, like, in Chapter 1. I haven't even started Chapter 2 yet. I'm fucking hyped, dude. I'm so hyped. I can't, I can't wait to play the rest of this game. Let's see if there's anybody I can uh, raid real quick. Yes, there is! Valder. Good old sweetie Valder. She is the cutest VTuber west side of the Australia. Um. <laughs> Raid at its Valder. I think that's how you spell her name. Yes, that's it. Alrighty. Please give her lots of love. Please give her lots of love. She's an amazing, amazing VTuber. Frog VTuber. Um. Give her lots of matsicles if you are subbed. Uh, or, if you, if you want to, you can put a lot of Mr. Quackers in her chat. Both of them are technically our raid emotes, so um, have fun. Please have a good night. Please have a good day. Uh, thank you everyone for following. I'm so happy that we, we made it to 174. We're getting really close to that 200 goal. I'm really excited about it. Um, yeah. I wonder who's gonna die next. I wonder what's gonna happen next, huh? I can't wait. I can't wait. It's gonna be so fun. 
See you guys later. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all the bits. Thank you for all the follows. Thank you for the raid, Captain Ducky. You fucking, you mad lad, you champ. You're gonna be ahead of me by the time I get back to Florida? Nah. I'm back from Florida? Nah. Uh, Twitch normally goes a lot slower than that, Danny. You ain't gotta worry about it. For those who don't know, Danny just hit like... 110 something, I don't know. Or uh, 210, I mean. Eh. Anyhow. We can talk about that later. Bye! Bye-bye! Bye-bye!